What is up, Clever Coop family? Yes, there's a break in space time. One second. Oops. Hi. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Otherwise, just hi. Happy Tuesday. Um, good to see y'all. Man, oh man, it's been a long day. Man, I'm a sleepy little guy, but man, I really wanted to stream. Um, because that's how I relax. Um, thanks for being here, y'all. And a special hello to everybody who started watching on YouTube. Um, I am now uploading VODs to YouTube with no specific regularity, but um, I found out there's a Twitch feature to make this go right on over to YouTube afterwards. So it's not edited, it's not fancy. But it's better than nothing. Um, so thanks for watching, y'all. And it's lovely to see you. Hello, how's your day been? Uh, thank you for, ask ab thank you for ask asking Abstract. That was tough. Uh, your name is Abstract. Um, it's It's been a really, really good day. It's just been a very busy day. Um, we filmed three big old episodes of something today. And uh, it was a lot. I mean, it was good. It was good that we did and it felt nice. Um, but like, damn, from... From the beginning of the day to the end of the day, we were going, 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 going. Um, oh, the the purple. Yeah, I, I read it the purple because I wanted to look good for the videos. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Um, hey, let's chat out a couple new people. Everybody, please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to uh, Din Din Fiend and then Awkward Octopus. Um, thank you so much. Is Awkward Octopus like, is that a... Is that one of those things where you're like, high five, oh, awkward, octopus. And like, man, I miss middle school. I don't. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here, y'all. Busy day, busy day for sure. How are y'all doing? How are you doing? If you are new here, it should be. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Spread it to the new generation. You did well at a job interview. Cleo on Twitch, stoked to hear it. Get that gainful employment. You deserve it. Um, Cat Bunny is giving us up to your sacrificial lamb. <laughs> animals helping animals. We love to see it. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, uh, she's a cooking gal, says uh, Spacey Sev. Oh, okay, what's on the menu today? What you making? What you making? Oh, you paged you cried once today. If you consider that a win, good. But otherwise, I wish I wish you didn't have to cry. Hope things are good. Um, we got Kiki Burkick gifting a sub to your boy. Uh, your boy Agle Steve. Your boy AGL Steve. I don't know how to say it. Um, well, thank you very much for doing that. Um, appreciate you. Let's see. This is your first time being able to watch the stream from the beginning? Ooh, thank you, Rye Guy. Um, it's gonna be probably a little bit of a shorter stream today because I am a sleepy fellow. But I didn't want to miss out on stream. Um, so thank you for doing here. Oh, Darth Micus, I'm so sorry that you tested positive for COVID. That really sucks. Um, I am sorry to hear that. Please, please, please take care of yourself. I know a lot of people aren't taking it seriously right now, but I hope you are able to get the resources that you need and are able to take some time away from responsibilities because it's important to heal. It's very important. Um, not, not fun. I know you got a rough few days ahead of you, so please take care of yourself. Um, we've got uh, Perkabeth giving us up to Rafenior, uh, Santarima, or Santarima, Giving us up to Saint Mick. Um, those are two very saint related names. KKEXE gifting new Aqua Owo. And then Demo Nacho gifting three flippin' gift subs to Stegosaurus, Royal Guarantee, and then uh Scarlet Lady. Uh thank you so much to Demo Nacho, KKEXE, Centarima, and then Perka Beth. Appreciate y'all. You discovered you're allergic to self shellfish. That actually just happened to a friend of mine uh as well, Debs McLeod. Um which is so weird in like adult life how you can just be like, oh, oops, can't have this anymore. It's it's just it's just weird. Like, I've had food restrictions before, but to literally be like, oh, my body is just like, you know what? You hit your shrimp quota for life. No more prawns for you. And then that's all you do. You might be allergic to plums. Okay, bugaboo. You know what? I can't say I have enough plums in my life generally to be like, I'm going to figure that out anytime soon. Um, But that's, that's a bummer. You can't, you know can't live out your little Jack Horner dreams, sticking your thumb in a pie, pulling out a plum and calling yourself a good boy. You can, but I guess it's not a good idea for you. Um, if anyone is new here, hi, I'm Damien. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Today we're doing Baldur's Gate, which is basically D&D the game. And by that, I don't just mean like elves and dwarves. It's actually based off of D&D content, such as like um, you roll a D20, like a 20 sided die to even see if you're able to do a thing. Um, so yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as we do because we've been quite obsessed here. Um, 
I'm just in the corner allergic to tall grass. I mean, the fragile soul, tall grass is no friend of mine as well. So I hear you. I'm allergic to outside to Skywalker. Hey, look, I'm more or less, to put it lightly, I'm allergic to the sun. I have a condition where I can't really go out in the sun without getting hives. I get a shot for it, so I'm fine, but still. So like, we all got something, right? Um, Does the new Sword AF come out tomorrow? It does, Star Zaya. It does indeed. Um, so hopefully y'all like it. Um, again, this is the last episode of like the first sort of batch of episodes we filmed. And then from here on out, it gets crazy in a good way. Um, so yeah, hope y'all enjoy. Um, thanks for sticking through it with us. Again, if you are new here, I do rate out um, new subscribers. I read out sub bombs as they come in. I read out tips generally as they come in. I get a little behind sometimes. Um, and then I read out resubscribers all at the end of the stream. Uh, I will say if you, uh, all we really ask of you is, is just make sure you keep those rules, make things super easy for the mods because we do indeed love our mods and we don't want to make them have too much work. They had busy days uh, or they're about to have a busy day. Maybe their day just started. Maybe they live elsewhere. Um, but still. We also got Nadan237 uh, two, dropping five flipping gift subs. I appreciate you, Nadan. Gifting to Flyboy, Five Entertainment, Crash Boston, Lex with a bunch of numbers, and then Void Saint 526 Thank you, son. Huh? Appreciate you. And yeah, for anybody who is uh, checking out stuff on YouTube, um, there is uh, the second episode now up of Baldur's Gate, the, the six and a half hour stream that I did. Again, no rhyme or reason to it. The first one's four and a half hours. The second one's six hours. The next one would be, I think, like two or three. This one will probably only be two. It is what it is. Um, but you know, it's it, it's 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 better if I don't put a lot of pressure on it, and it's just there if you want it. Ghosty Goop says, uh, any tips for someone getting into D and D? Yeah, I would say like find a group of friends to play it who like have the same vibe as you. Because I know some people in my personal life who, when they play D&D, like, they take it so seriously, their character has to use, like, an in-game hour to put on their armor. Because they're like, realistic, this is how we do it, this is great. To me, that sounds terrible. To some people, they're like, yes, finally a realistic D&D. Uh, for me, the vibe is all about, like, being goofy, being silly, while still being creative with problem solving. Um, and so that would be my best, that would be my best bit of advice. I think, I think. Callowan, thank you for gifting a sub to Zarzar Links. What a, what a wonderful name. And then um, Din Din Fiend is also gifting to uh, Zoe B. Thank you for doing that. Appreciate you. Sub hype, it's a space uh, clown. <laughs> thank you for protecting space, space clown. Thank you for making Jupiter laugh. Oh, indeed, sub hype. We got Bayan dropping 10 flipping gift subs. Thank you so much, Bayan. I appreciate you gifting to Rajon, MCAT. Kevin screams into the void. Uh, I'll, I'll boom or ale boomy um not not alike uh starhawk 2k lokia uh, butterfly 69 ness nice uh hdfn fgf well you're either you either jammed your name on on the uh, jammed your face on the keyboard or you're a bot um and then ace 433 <laughs> appreciate you buy-in thank you very much gotta put the armor on like power rangers morphing indeed yeah and that's quicker too you're just like Dragon style, like bleh, 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 bleh. it's just like a magical girl transformation, but with armor. Um, and and you love that, and you love that. Bye, and thank you so much. That was very generous. I appreciate. It. I'm not a bot. Hey, you're not a bot. HDFN JFT. I'll never say your name properly, but welcome on in for not being a bot. Um, I love the unique name. Welcome on down. Welcome on in. Welcome all around. We got Cryptic Formula dropping a gift sub to uh, Baja Blastoise. Lol. Clever name, I like it. Uh, Cryptic, thank you so much. Look at you on all the things. I love that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm a, I'm a sleepy little guy, but I'm having a good time. So, hello from Mexico. Hi, what's up, Gussie Gus? Uh, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. We also got uh, Karitsuo, Karitsuo dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you so much, y'all. Lots of sub bomb hype today. Appreciate you. Give the new HD Toad, ZFB with a bunch of numbers, and Lar6, I, Joel, I, and then SFX Lion. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you. So many first time shatters. Yeah, I know Havoc RN, Havoc Nurse. Maybe Havoc right now. Um, I am indeed Eevee. I am indeed Eevee. So today in Baldur's Gate, uh, we're gonna be uh, meeting our next companion in game. They are a barbarian and they are quite powerful. And they are also a romance option, hence the name of the stream. Um, so I guess we'll see if there's any sparks flying with that romance. You never know. 
Uh, Kelly one also gifting a sub to you. That's S-C-H-I-T-T-Y. Uh, thank you so much. A barb we stand. <laughs> Someone likes Stranger Things season one. Um, yes, she's fantastic. Well, I don't know a single thing about her yet, so I'm really stoked. That's not the, I feel like TikTok is not focused on her as much because I feel like half the content I get about Baldur's Gate just in my life, other than playing it when I like randomly get to on stream, um, is from TikTok. And TikTok is all about like, oh, Sterion, oh, Sterion, we love her. Ah, oh, Lazel, she's toxic mommy, we love her. And then like, Harlock is just over here like, hey, am I, am I a joke to you? Um, I wish Khajiits were available in Baldur's Gate. So in the D&D world, um, there are characters that are cat people. They're talking about Khajiits from uh, Skyrim in the Elder Scrolls series. Um, the uh, the cat critters in D&D are called, um, oh God, the brain, the brain, uh, Tabaxi. They're called Tabaxi, T-A-B-A-X-I. So I don't think they're in Baldur's Gate. Maybe they're from later content. Um, but who knows? Um, I also see some new subscribers rolling in as well as a bunch of tips. Thank you so much, y'all. I will read them out as soon as uh, we hop into the game proper so that we have a little bit of things to focus on while reading out um, the lovely tips. And thank you very much. Again, if you are new here, you don't have to do any of those things. It's nice when people do, so I call it out. It's very sweet. It helps support me. Beyond that, you can hang out here for free. Um, that's why I focus on the chat so much. I don't want you to feel like you have to do those things in order to be noticed, um, especially if you're a youngin. Hold on to your money, you kids out there. And we got Blonde Bray or Blonde Bree. I don't know. It's dropping five living gift subs as well. Thank you so much. Gifting to Coding and T, Drop Dead Brock, Jay Huth, uh, Sunshine Syrah, and then Soul Ray. Thank you, Blonde Bray. Appreciate you. And thank you for the sub bombs. Oh, goodness. We love the emotes. We love to see the emotes. Um, all righty. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the game here in a minute. Um, and I will of course be asking the question of the day beforehand. Uh, anybody who's on YouTube right now in the future, thanks for watching us. Um, I wish I, I guess there's no way for me to really have the chat here for you on YouTube. So you're, you're probably just gonna, I guess, have to trust that I'm reading out these things or don't. And maybe I'm just very creative in the moment. Um, <laughs> All right, time for a little bit of a little bit of cooking up meal, cooking up water. Hmm. Also, uh, Chris Salmon, who was in chat recently, I don't know if they're here tonight, but um, they sent a very lovely Magic: The Gathering deck. Again, I don't, I don't always call out stuff that goes to the the PO box, um, because I don't want to make it like an obligation that like you will get shouted out if you've given me gifts, and also like you know. If I miss something, you know, shouting out, I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to be rude or anything like that. But I do want to shout it out because it was very, very nice. Um, it was the Eldrazi deck, which was very generous. And I'd even forgot that that was on a, um, it was on a uh, wish list. It was just very nice and a very generous gift. And I really appreciate that. It was very, 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 very cool. Gutter Puck or Gutter PUC gifting five subs as well. Thank you for the sub bomb. Uh, gifting to Tiger Lily Gray. Uh, Tiny Kenna, Rankini, uh, Jay Greenwell, and then Eeyore Lover. Um, Eeyore is indeed a delight and can use can use that love. It's so sad, so sad, so very sad. Um, yes, who knows? Uh, appreciate y'all a lot. Okay, so a uh, strawberry Danimal is getting to a uh, Signore Batman. A Signore Batman, I appreciate you. Um, alrighty. Vian, how dare you? Someone was in stream the other day. <laughs> you goof, you goober. Uh, E-Page, I think they were making a specific joke about something I'd called out before. The devil may sing. Look at this. You're trying to beat your own record, you generous mother goose. Um, Thank you for the big ol' sub bomb. That got that got a, a lip bomb there, like a... Uh, um, thank you for dropping 25 flipping gift subs, you generous mother goose. Gifting the Queen James, Wooly Samoth, Coconut, Static Man, uh, Mardu Longclaw, um, Tiki the Croc, uh, Timmy, uh, Amolio, David P, Laura De, Laura De Vilder, um, <laughs> Zach Mayron, M with a bunch of numbers, uh, Undeserved Capybara, uh, A Grim Ginger, Bugman, Metman Mitch, uh, Anxious Millennial Chaz, Brittany Haggle, Red Firefox, Silver Den TV, Conscious, Fantista, Buy Down and Out, and then uh, Atmosphere. 
I'm only saying thank you so much. You did not have to do that. You are continuously generous. Again, this is your checkpoint for like, hey, make sure you're okay to do that. It's very much appreciated. Just want to make sure. Um, but thank you so much for that. And if you were dropped a sub today by anybody, if you are comfortable, drop a thank you in chat. Um, you don't have to. I'll do a cart launch. Thank you on behalf of everybody. But always lovely to see. Um, Chinese Trying says, you're telling me a gate boulder these threes? Nice. I wouldn't have thought of that. I thought it was pretty good. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. And Christian Gifford D and D gifting a sub to um, but but Fatui Kermisher or maybe Fat UI Skirmisher. There we go. Maybe that's the one. I think so. Yes. Yes. I think so. And then Strawberry Danimal also giving the Ruth Ruthless Grab. Thank you, y'all. This has been a very sub mom heavy sked uh, sketch uh, stream. Thank you. You can tell exactly where my mind is. Smosh. Um, all right. <laughs> she bought my gate till I three. How dare you? Um, well, thank you very much, the devil missing. I really do appreciate it. It's very, very nice. And I hope it doesn't seem like I'm looking a gift horse in the mouth, but I always feel a responsibility to check in and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You've been scrolling way too long. That kind of vibe. Um, all right, y'all. So I do see the tips rolling in. I will read out all the new subscribers, but I do want to ask the question of the day so we can hop into this video game here. Um, so thank you very much. Um, all right, so question of the day for anyone who's new here. It's a little thought start, a little thought start. I like to ask things to get the brain um, sort of going. And the question is, today, who do we have in the chat today? We got Tornado Kicker, Elena Puff, Cheyenne is trying, Carrie Rito, we got Big Booty, Yeltsin, Darjess, Lavender, Lily, we got Moment Zay, Noah Cola, Raspberry Love, Nico Frog, um, we got Neat, Reasonable Cry, Sprout, BB, C Maz, we got Wimkaloo, uh, we got Cherry Mint, Penguin Utopia, Lil Dreamer, Eerie Medusa, Catamantium, Nobdes, we got Oki Gabby, uh, I Cling to Life, we got Hannah G, we got I Am Radical, Hootie Lootie Patootie, Rosa, Elena, Madame, Trash Heap, and with a couple of numbers, uh, Star Zaya, Nikki Does Not Know, Neophyte, SA, we got Ghoulie Hubby, Emerald, Emerald Dean, we got a uh, game player, Florneon, uh, we got, uh, uh, olive oil Aaliyah, andrea and postal service pale orchids uh three uh, oh bloomer but you spelled it with lead speak rachie z what's up to prince reiki um skywalker little dreamer jay knock uh we got kenzie bugs demo nacho uh we got shibugi alarm pants lena baby live with a bunch of numbers some grilled fish and a stylist uh we got crown slayer we got rachel the llama corn best she ever had Took a minute to read. Um, uh, we got possibly Katie. It's Mandy B. Uh, we got Frady, Cause Storm, uh, Wicked West books. We got Mandy Girl, Chloe on Twitch. We got Deep Queso, Tiara GACP. Um, we got uh, Marissa Buddy, Commander KCQ. Um, we got Sleepy Low Rider, Wasp Apologist, Spacey Sev. Uh, we got Batch for Brains. What's up, Bats for Brains? Uh, we got Awkward Octopus. We got Lisa Ariana, uh, Andrew J. Noe, uh, Sketch Your Lays. We got Ink. We got Dark Michiko. Uh, we got Zo Zovoaz, uh, Yohachi. Uh, we got J. Newcomb, Emma Dackers. Too many accounts. And there's too many people here for science accounts. Science doesn't have that many numbers. They are building a new large Hadron Collider called the Even Bigger Hadron Collider. So hopefully one day they discover some new numbers. But until then, y'all are killing it. I appreciate the support. Y'all are wonderful. And thank you for being here. Um, okay, wow, Poke Rap, who are you? Don't you get it? I was raised by the Poke Rap. Poke Rap is my mom. That's the t-shirt right there. Put it on the merch. Um, hey, guess what? If I didn't say hi to you right off the bat, I'm sure I'll see you at some point during the stream. So come say hi and lurk, do your thing, whatever, talk, don't talk is okay. Just make sure you peep those rules. So the mods have a wonderful, wonderful, easier day. Um, and let's just hop right into it. I watched Bill Franco show before this. Let's just jump right into it. It's amazing how he doesn't jump right into it, by the way. For anyone who doesn't know that's a YouTuber that does like news stories, um, he doesn't jump right into it. He's always like, let's just jump right into it. But it's after like 40 seconds of like preface. Um, and you know what? I respect it. I do. I do. Take take your time. Take your space. Live live your life and take up space. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the game here. I'm gonna cut out the music in a second. Um we found each other, says Curve Rito. Hey, we got some women in STEM here, is I believe what the conversation was about. You did it. You did it. All right, time to exit out of the music here. Tui, great. Um, PC gameplay. If you haven't seen the game before, 
it's a slow moving game in a good way so there's not a whole lot of story you've missed yet so we're gonna get you caught up to speed lickety spittle it real easy don't you even worry about it um i will say in the meantime we have a bunch of new subscribers subscribing on their own so please everybody give a warm and surprise be clever coop welcome to our newest members shaw exe lemon zest oslo uh koritsuo uh koritsuo Nate LM the second, uh, gutter puck gifting to Autumn Rainstorm 99. Uh, thank you for doing that. We got Master Maze Productions, uh, Griffin, uh, excuse me, Christian Gifford D and D, friend or phobia. That's a clever name. Gutter puck EVMC 28. Aw, damn it. Post 39. Kaliawan. Um, D. Is it Din Din Fiend or is it D and D and Fiend? No, it'd be Din Din Fiend. That, that makes sense. Um. Welcome to y'all. Thank you for being here. We have so many new subscribers lately, and this has been absolutely lovely. If you are a subscriber, we do have a, a subscriber Discord, uh, which is just it's fun. It's just a fun time to pop on in and say, hey. Um, oh, that's your mom gifting you a sub? That's so sweet. That's awesome. Man, that's real cool. I love that. Um, this game looks sick AF. Um, don't you worry. This is the sickest game of all time so far today. Uh, it's going to be lovely. We're going to bring it. Also, I fixed my mic, so everything should look good again. All right. So, um, hey, Christian. Thank you for dropping 100 bits. Appreciate you. So, this is our character. Um, I didn't design him out for anything in particular. But he is a tiefling druid. And a druid, I'm going to be talking about this like if you're unfamiliar with D&D. So, anyone who is familiar out there, please bear with me. I want to include everybody. So a druid is a magician of nature. They hard harness natural forces. But it doesn't just mean like, oh, I'm going to make a tree grow. It's like, oh, um, I have powers over maybe the moon or transforming into animals or um, even flipping. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's think about this. Uh, fire. Fire is a part of nature, you know? Um, and so these are our different companions. We got Lazelle. She is a fighter. She's a Gith Yankee, which are sort of like space orcs that ride dragons. They're awesome. This is Astarion. We just sort of learned that he is a, a spooky old vampire rogue boy, and he's great at sneaking and stabbing. This is Gale. He's a straight up wizard, and we made him look Australian because it's funny. What's up, Kens? Good to see you. Is that your go-to class? Okay, so Autumn Rainstorm, I... First of all, the audience voted. I was like, mm, Paladin, Druid, Bard. We had them vote. Druid won out. Um... Bard is also cool for me. I like bards. I like druids. Um, recently, I started playing as an Echo Knight fighter, and I don't know if I can go back. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. It, it just, it's so fun. Um, and that's just in general D&D. &D. Uh, we got One Love Inspires subscribing for the first time. A very spicy, clever coop. Welcome to you as well. Um, what we did discover last time is this spooky old cave. Again, we are looking for Carlock, uh, who is going to be our next... Uh, I almost said cast member. My God, that's where my brain is. Uh, our next uh, little friend to help us out. But um, there's a spooky old cave in here. There's clearly some treasure. And there's a big old monster. A big old... Um, God, what was down here? It was a... Um, those, like, those like hyena beasts. Oh, you can't get past this. But there is a fire wine barrel. All right, so let's, let's check this out. Way. We're going to have everyone scoot away. And so this game is very big on like interacting with your environment, right? So I could chop this thing down, right? I could chop it down. Or... We have Gale here, our wizard, who can cast uh, a little bit of fire onto this wine barrel. Maybe explodes. Yeah, burn it right on down. So we're going to let that smolder for a minute. Also, TikTok has given me an unbelievable amount of uh, advice in these past few days. So um, I am going to be doing a lot of cool new things soon here. Um, and you're going you're gonna to love it. You're going to love it. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm just gonna be sending these things really quickly to storage so I don't have to worry about running out of space. Um, and to camp. Nice. Um, so, in a minute, I'll be reading out tips here. Um, this is my inventory. I'm gonna see if I have a candle. Do I have a candle? Oh, no one's picked up a candle. What a shame because I learned something really cool you can do with a candle. It's pretty sick. Um, but we'll deal with it later. All right, so again, yeah, so many icons. You're right, irritated Nick, but don't you worry. You know, we'll make sure everything is um, accessible. Ooh. Oh, see, that's interesting. So again, like, you can do whatever you want in this game. So if we were being chased by enemies, for example, we climb up this ladder, shoot this wooden support, have this boulder fall down, and then we win the video game? It's gonna be great. Step 
Ooh, kill perception. No, I was wrong. That is actually a trap for us. Uh, we died. That doesn't count because I wasn't ready and I didn't know the rules. Woo! Um, that's super cool that that happened. You like how I noticed that and then called it out? Like, yeah, that's there for us. They just set it up. It's real nice. Uh, we got Curve Rito dropping three flipping dollars. Thank you very much, Curve Rito. Uh, that doesn't count. Uh, I'm not gonna be editing this. It's gonna be up on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's on YouTube, um, that was don't even that didn't really happen. Um, all right, Gail, do your thing again. Din Din Fiend, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for being here on your birthday. What a special time to spend with us. Thank you, truly. <laughs> Look at that boulder. That's a nice boulder. Not gonna read it in Eddie Murphy voice, but it's funny. Um, <laughs> thank you, Jeremy J. Um, so we got Curve Rito dropping $3. Thank you, Curve Rito, for the tip. I appreciate you saying, Ew, so happy to see you here and to be here for another. Uh -huh. Step carefully, there's a trap. See, now, now we're here. See, now we know there's a trap. That's great. That's really great, you guys. Um, so here's what I'll probably do about that. Well, let's read out Curve Rito's thing first. ADHD meds are wearing off. It's end of day. You already know what it is. Um, hey -oh, so happy to see you here and to be here for another Baldur's Gate 3 stream. I hope you're having a great week so far. Please send good vibes for some of the jobs I've interviewed slash interviewing for. Also, random, but how often do you check emails by chance? Be curious. Um, I've been on set the past few days, so my email checking has been uh, a bit lower than usual. Um, it's been a little tough, and I'm, I don't always have the chance or ability to respond to any everything. Um, I hope that doesn't sound too rude or in any way egotistical. It's just a matter of I, I sometimes have difficulty with it. Um, I hope this rock is enough to stop this tripwire. Let's see if it is. Oh, actually, no, we have Mage Hand. So we can cast this hand, and maybe this hand can just uh, mess with it here. Yeah, just, just give a little poke. Oh, I wasn't trying to disarm it, but maybe we do. Maybe we do disarm it with the Mage Hand. <laughs> maybe we don't. <laughs> We're gonna die. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. Everything's fine. All right. Now, does this little thing stop it? I feel like it would. Yeah, yeah, it sure did. Perfect. Oh, but now we legit can't get over here. So we have to go the other way around. So, okay. You know what? But that's okay. Because we've seen the other way around. We know how to deal with it. And yes, sometimes you have to live with your um your, your consequences. That's fine. Lost in thought. Let's get Lost going. in thought. <laughs> Um, but I will check it soon. Check it as soon as I can. So yeah, again, just like with normal D&D, &D, there's a lot of ways to tackle something, and that's okay. We got this. I did switch to Karmic Dice, yes, because uh, anyone who's new here, um, it's been uh, really hard. I've been getting so many low rolls in a row. Um, it's actually been kind of insane. Um, so screw that, and I switched to Karmic Dice. All right, so there was... Now, there was an enemy over here. I wonder if they moved inside after hearing that barrel. That is very possible. There's also fire here. So this is one cool thing I discovered. So Astarian, who is our, our melee boy, one of our melee boys. We can have him dip his weapon into the fire. They have special fiery weapons. And so here's the thing that I learned. If you do that with a candle, if you carry a candle with you, you can just always do that. Isn't that nuts to you? Isn't that insane? All right, so everyone, I want them to sneak. I want everyone to be sneaky boys. Really? Now I want Astarian to be a sneaky boy. And uh, see, this thing has 85 health. That's kind of it's insane to me. Blood. It's kind of super insane to me, but you know what? Maybe if I enter turn-based mode, I'll be able to just sneak on over to him, right? So we can have him just sneak every few seconds here. <laughs> And turn. Oh, see, I shouldn't have done turn based mode. No, 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 no. Yes, Darian. Nope. Uh, that's on me for trying. Uh huh. Ooh, okay, so these guys can see me to a certain degree. So I wonder if there's something better I can do to sort of open up this attack. You know what? No, I'm just going to go for it because I believe in myself and I think I can do this. And if I die, it's everyone else's fault but me. I do have to make sure, though. Yeah, there we go. Now we have time. Now we have the ability. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Sneaky attack. Sneak attack. Come on. Oh, only 12 damage. That's not ideal. Ooh, these two people are friends. Okay. I had no idea. 
that they were here. That's great. So now we're helping out new friends. Amazing. Amazing. Um, so now Astarion can actually do another sneak attack. Um, must have advantage against Darkon. We So we can't do that. And I lied as a joke for fun. It's fun to lie, realistically. Um, so can't hide. So I can do a normal attack. Critical hit. That's awesome. And um, we can no longer do... Uh, I wonder, I guess we can't disengage here, huh? No, it's surprised. It can't, it can't attack me. There we go. Good job, sneaky boy. Retreat to the shadows. You got this. End turn. Yeah, everyone's surprised. So we basically get a free movement here. Um, but Curvrito, uh, good vibes to you. For the, uh, I almost said audition. I'm an actor brain tonight. Don't be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. I wonder Leave if they the are our friends. To them that don't value their own skin. Okay, so they're trying to be sneaky lads and steal? I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna murder these minions. Oh. Okay. So yeah, now we're oh god, Astarion is um having a real rough time. Oh my god. Okay, so Astarion is dying. These guys are definitely too strong for us. And there's no additional aspect to that. One thing I will say about D&D that a lot of people don't know that I didn't really know until recently is um, levels really matter in this game. Like in most RPGs, if you're level three and you try to attack something that's level four, you can figure it out. Hey, two dead people? That's sick for us. Um, yeah, there's no way we're actually going to be able to do this. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this isn't great. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this ride out for like a minute and then we're gonna undo this Soul numbed. Oh my god. Yeah, there's uh, well, this isn't gonna work out. I think I'm gonna um I think I'm gonna reload I can smell the scum safe. You know what? It's not safe scumming if you're just like about to die and you need to reload It's safe scumming if you're like, oh, I didn't get my special treasure Oh, I didn't convince him to give me his coins for free <laughs> Yeah, okay, three dead people. We're gonna reload this. <laughs> We're just gonna finish our mission to um to get our friend here. I think that's I think this is us. Yeah. Alright. Um, let's see here. We got Kaneki Love dropping a dollar. Thank you very much for the tip. I appreciate you. And thank you very much for the very kind words. You're very sweet. Um We have got Liv3224 dropping 26 flipping dollars. Greatly appreciate you for doing that. Thank you, Liv. Actually, let's reload before the boulder, too. We could theoretically go be sneaky lads. Um, uh, Liv, thank you very much for the tip. That's very nice, and that was very generous. Um, saying, I really needed this today. I'm so happy to be watching. Pet the cats well for me. Oh, such a such a pat. Such a pat they will be getting. Little head pats, little, little, silly, uh, little silly little beasts. Um, now for the real attempt, that was just a trial. Egg See, you get it, Devs McLeod. Now, I will say, we're, we probably can't do this yet, but it might be fun. It might be fun to try oh, no. this real quick, just for being, just to be silly. We can disarm this, right? Go on, Astarian. Oh, God, Astarian is actually doing great. Um, Astarian will almost definitely get this no problem at all. Yep, that's great. So, I mean, I guess that's the move. 27. Woo! Okay, buddy. Okay, we got this. Good job, baby boy. Good job, Starry. Um, no. let's have Gale just have a potion. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we can try to be sneaky lads and get through here and just see what we can do. Um, oh God, there's a second trap? Are you kidding me? That sucks. Well, this is kind of what I was talking about. The, the saves coming. We kind of have to like, let this happen, huh? Wait, where's um? Oh, we gotta, we gotta help, we gotta help him. Help, 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 help. Of course you need help. Of course you need help. Doodly doo 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 some toots. Um. All right, so they're both not doing great. I'll tell you that much right now. But at the very least, you guys, a you guys have potions. You can do this. You can live your, live your little best potionly life. I will be using all of my healing spells to. My poor little friends here. But you know what? That's not safe. We're not safe scumming. That's the difference. We got our crap absolutely rocked. And we learned from it. 
Actually, is that is that blood on the ground? It is blood. Oh, I wonder if Astarian can just um. Oh, that's blood on the ground. So he can do a vampiric bite. I wonder if he can just do it on on the on the blood. No. No, really. You can't just scoop the blood off the ground. Slurp, slurp, yum, yum. Can you dip it in the blood? Must be a dippable surface. Well, that's no fun. Hey, we got a raider. What's up, Night Robert? Night Robert, your um, your icon is really cool. Oh, TwitchCon 2023. That makes sense. Eating food off the floor. I mean, yeah, who among us is too good to do that? I find food on the ground every day, and I just say yum, 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 yum. Give me it. Give me all that food. Um, I wonder if do, do we have any um, oh, we don't have any short rests left either. You know what? So I am going to try this, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a long rest real quick. In D&D, &D, that's how you recover all your spell slots, all your health. I mean, clearly, this is not just a, a quick little survivable situation. We got ourselves in a bit of a, a bit of a jam, if you will. Oh, and we now get to progress story by talking to different peeps. That's always fun and cool. Um, we do eventually need to change our, our camp outfit. I wonder if... Oh, God, that's awful. It's not cool at all. I'm even close to cool. Um, and also, out of our storage, I want to grab a um, a candle so we can do that thing that I talked about. I want to do that thing I talked about. I want to do it. We also found so many rings. God, we're rich. God, we're rich. So sick. I think that's half the fun of this, ca this game is... Um, it reignites my original love for D&D. And when I liked D&D &D in like middle school, I always wanted to play either a druid or a rogue. And my whole thing was like, I want treasure. I want to get as much treasure as possible. And when my friend um, was DMing for just me, because we were each other's only friends, kind of, um, he would be like, all right, you defeated the skeletons. I'd be like, what do they drop? He's like, nothing, they're skeletons. I'm like, they had swords. They attacked me with swords, right? He's like, yeah, and I'm like, okay, I pick up the sword. He's like, all right, it's cursed, so you lose HP. And I'm like, great, doesn't matter. I can still sell it, right? He's like, you can, yeah. Like, good money, money, good, uh, loot, treasure. Um, But since then, my tastes have changed. We also got um a few new subscribers. Everybody, please give a price to the Clever Coop. Welcome to Gibbs is the name. Uh, Idowo, or Idowo, uh, and then Tease Chef. Um, thanks for being here. There you are. So this is the person everyone's thirsty for on TikTok. You. And that delicious moment we shared the other night. We discovered that he was a vampire and we allowed him to drink some from us because he was very hungry. Um, so we were literally just like, dude, you just have to ask. Come on, don't be a sneaky little snake about it, you know? But to be honest, my eyes are settling firmly on Carlock. And I know we haven't met her yet, but she's pretty sick. Um... <laughs> The moment when you bit me. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but Old. truth be told, <clears throat> you were my first. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Oh, that's really sweet. Don't be embarrassed. Okay, I was your first. Honestly, I'm honored. Um, thank you for being comfortable enough with me to drink my um blood. Um, let's see here. Uh Pet them and I'll kill you. Uh you looking for Oh, okay, you know what? Let's keep our options open. Like I said, we're gonna romance Carlock. I think she's probably our best bet. And honestly, I think she's real pretty. But you know what? Let's keep our options open. You were looking at all the necks. I'm hurt. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. I'm a man of tremendous appetites. I don't think they'd volunteer, of course. But it doesn't make me any less curious. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. Well, it's coursing with magic. But the gift is a magic What bungee. in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Um, ooh. Hmm. Um, something exotic, surely? An, um, an Omnon liquor. Oh. Liqueur. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. This is still theoretical, can I? Oh, um, could I convince you to kill someone less useful? That's clever. <sighs> no one's getting killed, I swear. 
We're just two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? So it's fun because I actually, um, in a re in, an, in a home game campaign, I am also playing a Dompier, which is a half-turned vampire. Um, there's someone that can walk out during the day or, um, you know, either they were being turned into a vampire and they were like rescued midway through and they couldn't complete the transformation, but like enough took hold that they still need to sate their hunger with blood. Or um, maybe they're a part of a vampire society of Dompier where like maybe um, the father was a human and the mother was vampire and, you know, they give birth to like a half vampire situation. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I say you, of course. Yeah, let's, you know what? Let's be flirty as possible with the Starion. Let's keep our options open. Again, I'm just letting y'all know because sometimes in romance options and games, I'm like, what do y'all think? I'm feeling Carlock, but keep our options open. You, of course. Oh. He approved. Oh. <laughs> I'm flattered. Who knew you had such taste? Unfortunately, all this talk is getting me hungry. I better find something I can actually sink my teeth into. How about a nice prosciutto? <laughs> Good hunting. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. I disagree. Uh, I've had some good gamey food before. There's nothing wrong with that. Eat what's available, my guy. Um, let's see here. Uh, we got Ven Sorxis dropping three dollars. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Ven Sorxis says, uh, hey Damien, I was wondering if you've ever bought any dice from Die Hard Dice before. So I haven't, but for the first time last night at like two in the morning while I was writing stuff for D&D &D and I couldn't fall asleep, I did find myself on a dice website and I did buy dice for myself for the first time. I got three sets. One of them is nicer. The other two are like really cheap and just sort of like cute, I guess. Elias Morals says, whoa, sorry, I've got a video game, basically. Um, so no, never from Die Hard Dice. Um, I also, my friend just got something from, um, oh God, what's the other one? Dispel Dice. Dispel Dice are really pretty. But um, the thing is, beyond what I did just now, I don't think I want to really buy myself dice too often um, because I think, I think I'll get used to it and I'll become a dice goblin and like, I don't play D&D &D enough to spend money on it. Um, do I have a favorite pair of dice? Uh, so when I was at Gen Con, um, the games that I played were sponsored by um, Foam Brain Games. And people kept joking because when they would roll the dice from Foam Brain Games that were just at the table, they would be like, oh my God, like they roll so poorly. Buy these for your players so you can lull as they fail at things. Um, these I had as I picked up for my like um, Dom Pierre character um, who was an Echo Knight. And so I just sort of thought that like black, white, and red suited the aesthetic well, like a little shadowy, a little bit of blood. Um, and they rolled so well. And I picked up another set of dice that were black and purple with a little line of like clear uh, plastic in the middle that I used actually today on set. Uh, so they're still at the office. Um, but they also roll very well. Not to the point where it's like, it's a 20 every time, but it, it, it just feels like they're there for me, you know? And I know it sounds silly, but like for anybody who plays d and it's, it's real easy to get superstitious about a specific set of dice. You know what I mean? Um, but no, I think Dispel Dice is really pretty. Um, yes, actually, Unlucky is me. I am aware about the dice changing colors in-game. Um, we did do that the other day because we had so many bad rolls. That was the equivalent of, like, we need to change dice. Um, anyway, I wish I could get into D&D, but I'm always listening to your Sword AF campaign or the Unexpectables multi-campaigns. Um, ooh, what's the butt there for, uh, Ben Sorxis? You could do both. You could get into D&D and listen to my campaign or um, the Unexpectables. I don't know the Unexpectables. Um, I have a few D20s I get nervous about using. I felt so bad. Chance today had um, a really nice um, set of dice that he just got. And they rolled ones, twos, and threes the entire time to the point where I was like, you you have to stop using them. You have to stop using them. Like, it was so bad, y'all. It was literally terrible. Um, okay, I wonder if anyone else wants to talk to us because we're clearly progressing Astarian's story. Um, this is Withers. He allows us to, like, change our, our class and things like that. Um, that's so sad, says Ghoulie Hobby. I know. And that's my fear, too, about getting fancy dice, is, like, if I spend money on fancy dice, and they can get pricey. Like, I have some tabs open on some dice right now that are, like, <laughs> they're, like, they're, like, 70 or 80 bucks, and there's a reason the tab is just open, and I'm not, like, getting them, because, again, 70 or 80 bucks, that's pricey. Um, 
Um, I can't. I can't just grab these candles. I sure do want them. Um, candlestick. Can't take it. All right. Uh, Shadowheart wants to talk to us. Uh, I'm gonna use my guidance just in case. AVL3X is my um my fiance actually got me these super expensive dice for uh, our anniversary and they actually roll amazing. That's sweet. And also, couple goals, couple goals to be like, hey, what do we get for our anniversary? D and D dice. I'm like, oh yeah, you you found someone. You found someone. Something's wrong. I feel. I feel. Oh no! You got a bug bite. I... Oh nope, that's worse. Oh, that's... Darkness, protect me. Darkness, protect me. What did you mean by that? It's nothing. I swear. Wait, her name is Shadowheart. Something's up. Um, persuasion. Let's be. Let's be. Um, we are bloodless because we let him drain our blood last night. Difficulty class 18. That's tough. I mean, y'all. Let's use the heart of the cards. <laughs> let's use the heart of the cards. Oh, also, I did get myself a cool new little pendant that I haven't shown y'all yet. I'll take it off to show you at camera in a minute. Is this game new? So, uh, crispy O underscore O, uh, yes. The release itself is new. It's been in early access for like two years, y'all. Has it been two years already? Um, and I didn't love early access, but they really fixed all these problems. And speaking of which, unlucky is me subscribing for the first time. A very spicy, clever coop. Welcome to you. Um, all right, y'all. So here's here's what it is. It's a key with um, a moon as the sort of like key handle. Ah, oh, come on, focus, focus up. So here's my hand. Here's my hand. Focus on the hand. Focus at the same distance. There we go. Um, key with a with a moon as the handle and a and a raven sitting inside of it. Um, I thought it was I thought it was very me. I thought it was very me. Um, I like it quite a bit. Um, wow, that's so detailed. I thought it was really nice. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna make it too much of a habit. I can't believe you stole my house key. Hey, what's up, Austin? Y'all, Austin is in chat, and Austin is also streaming this game. Not at the moment, I don't think. Um, but Austin is one of my best friends, and please uh, show her some love. All right, so um, let's see here. I am going to... Oh, also, Austin um, made uh, our twin emotes. She made some bestie emotes. Um, we got this one of mine, and then she has a matching one of hers. Isn't that sweet? Um, all right, so... Uh, but Austin also has very good emotes of her own. Um, all right, so difficulty class 18, let's go. And thank you again, Ben Sorxis, I appreciate you. Yeah, you can get into D&D. &D. And again, you don't have to have a home game campaign to enjoy the content. Read the books, get a subscription to D&D &D Beyond and just get lost in the world and enjoy it. Nerd out about it with people, you know? All right, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get a 17 and a little boost. Come on. Oh, that would be a good roll for anyone else, but not for me. Um, shoot. Are we gonna lose out on her storyline if we don't get this? Let's try rolling again. I, I'd be down to you. So we also got inspiration. When you do something really cool in game, you get something called inspiration, which allows you to try again. We have four inspiration dice built up right now. And I'm just like, maybe there's an option. There's books. Oh yeah, Debs McLeod. So before everything was online, before everything was in games, it was all through books. Uh, the general ones that people would get, especially in like a starter kit would be the player's handbook, which explains the basics of the game. The Dungeon Master's Guide, which explains to one of the friends in your group how to sort of set up an adventure for people. And then sometimes there's like the Monster Manual. Um, but again, not sponsored by them or anything. I do have friends that work for them, but I um, have stuff through D&D uh, &D Beyond. So it's all online um, where I just get to open up the app on my phone as well and be like, oh, new book was released. I wonder what content is there. Cool. Also, I will say this. Here's a fun thing. If you don't know anything about D&D, &D, but you're really like, I want to play a character and just test it out and see how I feel, do dndbeyond.com. Um, again, not sponsored. And they have a character builder. And I think for free, you can make up to four characters, six characters, if anyone knows. And it's a really fun way to be like, how would I make this? How would I make this? So let's try this again. Six. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's try this again. Come on. Ah, worse. I say we, we burn another couple dice. Why not? Heart of the cards, says Shibugi Alarm Pants. I'll tell you what, the heart of the cards has not been helping us with... Y'all, that's the problem. We've been using the heart of the cards this whole time. What about the heart of the dice? Appendix of the dice! Let's go! I'm gonna burn one more. I'm gonna burn one more on this. And then maybe we reload to save scum because I do want to hear her story. It would be cool. 
Heart of the dice. It could work. It could work. Plus four. We did it. You know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. I'm going to not save scum. We used up all our inspiration. That's fine. Appendix of the dice. I'm going to save. Great. Um... You're not going to let this go, are you? No, I'm afraid not. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. Nice. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Certainly not. The goddess of secrets. Ah, How telling. Ah, goddess of secrets. See, clerics, um, a lot of people think of them as they're like the holy healers or whatever, but they're just the devotees of a, of a, like a specific god. So... In D&D, there are clerics of, like, trickster domain, right? Where they literally worship things like Loki um, and the idea of trickery. And uh, there are uh, clerics of, is it night domain or sleep domain or something like that? Where they would literally um, uh, worship something like the Sandman. You know what I mean? Um, so that's a cool thing about clerics that I think a lot of people miss out on. Um, um, I didn't agree join up with a shaw worshiper oh i guess there's this huge stigma to it um yeah i don't care who you worship we're playing we're playing our guys like a nice guy this whole time maybe we'll do another run one day where we're a little bit more um intense and a little bit more um judgy but for right now i don't care who you worship we have bigger problems true i didn't think you'd react so pragmatically live your life dog perhaps i should have told you sooner perhaps you should have um uh now that the truth's out tell me more talk to me later this day's been long enough already. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. I respect you, Shadowheart. Um, thank you for trusting me. Thank you for opening up. This is a safe space. I appreciate and respect your vulnerability. Um, let's see. We gotta find a candle. Um, God, there have been so many, so many tips I've gotten from the Tickety Talks. It's been absolutely fantastic. Ganz fantastisch. Ooh, no candles here. Okay, we're gonna have to like loot an abandoned village at some point. Um, we also haven't spoken to Will. Will is our really cool warlock boy. And uh, warlocks are kind of like similar to clerics, but a little bit different. They Gale's make a deal with uh, like, like a fiend like a of some kind carrot. or some kind of creature that I hope is. He got what he needed from it. Um, maybe like a like a a fae something like a, something of the fairy realm. Um, but it's just not like gods, right? Um, oh, he's got the stone eye. Um, what do you make of Raphael? Um, how does the Blade Frontiers end up chasing a devil in hills? Um, okay, Will. My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. Mm. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. Mm. Mm -hmm. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. Ooh. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. So he's got a good heart. So I like how this game is um, subverting expectations of like archetypes, right? So like the cleric, the healer, the holy person has secrets and worships this sort of spooky god that people are not chill with. Whereas the warlock, who's clearly pledged his soul to some kind of demon who we haven't met yet, it's actually really sweet and is saving kids and is like a is a folk hero of this area. Um, um, uh, what act could be finer than saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Mm. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Um, okay, so he literally is a folk hero background in games. So the fact that I can say it's nice to put a face to the name means like, oh, I've heard of you. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. I didn't update y'all in the story so far ally, if you haven't if you haven't the played with it before. A little less daunting. That's very sweet. Um, Lee. All right, so um, basically what happened in this game is Everybody who we're adventuring with found ourselves at one point um, kidnapped by Mind Flayers, who are these spooky monsters that look like little squid guys. Um, they're not great. They're not great to deal with. Um, they also implanted these horrible, like, larvae in our brains. Um, and that's how new Mind Flayers are made. Usually it turns you into a Mind Flayer pretty quickly. We, however, um, have been fine for a while. And even though we can get these big old headaches at some point, um, you know, throughout the game, 
we're still surviving a lot longer than most people would. So there is this question of why? Why us? What's so special about us? Are we lucky? Are we built different? And that's why we're here. Um, but we're agreeing to, uh, you know, go along together on this journey to uh, heal ourselves. What's on your mind? And this is Gail, a wizard. Um, um, I never realized it was so easy to cast magic. Yeah, we're going to skip by this real quick. All right, let's uh, let's have them go to bed, and we're gonna continue on our little adventure here. We talked to everyone except for Lazel. Is this camp permanent? Um, so you always have a camp. Actually, hold on. Um, we, you will always have a camp. We didn't talk to Lazel. Um, but it changes location as you do. Speak. Woof woof. Uh, okay, we've already exhausted her options. Um, great. All right, to bed we go. To bed we go. Auto select. Great, 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 great. Um, we did all the camp supplies. Wait, what was that? Oh, there's all these down here that we selected. I'm like, how is a raspberry and a bottle of wine like enough for four people? That's not healthy. Um, okay, Astarion is now sleeping like a baby, not trying to drink from us. We're good to go. Cool. Um, all right, to, uh, back to our quest we go. Leave camp. Excellent. She said speak. She said it like a command. I'm not like barking at her, y'all. Like speak, I'm like art, you know? Um, I will say I did learn from TikTok. And again, I some of it I'm like, I wish I didn't know, but I'm not gonna stop going on TikTok, you know what I mean? Some of it is like, <gasps> they do uh, tell you things like, I wish I didn't know, right? Um, hello, is everyone else gonna join me, please? Journal updated, find the missing shipment. Yeah, I would like, Okay, so everyone's not going to join me. I guess it's too big of a leap that I, like, actually have to um, specifically have them do well, it now. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I guess Astarian can't? No, no, he can. He can. That was interrupted. Okay, we're good. Like, spoilers or just details you didn't want to know? I think, like, just, yeah, details I didn't really need to know yet. It's nice to discover things on your own, you know? All right, so I'm gonna have Astarian lead the charge of being a sneaky boy, and we're gonna try to get the stuff out of this chest here. Now, I will say Gale has the ability to immediately unlock things with magic, but Astarian might have a better bet of doing it very sneakily. Oh, hold on, uh, Astarian, there we go. Keep your going to sneak. Stay low. Be a sneak. Stop. Yes, you can do this. Caravan strong box. Oh, Alchemist fire is here. I mean, if we wanted to, we could blow these guys up, but they're like, I don't think they're our enemies. Maybe they're not yet? I don't know. Deception successful. Um, medium toughness. Block. Um, block pick. Add bonus with guidance. Yeah, I don't think we really need to save these guys, to be honest. <laughs> We're gonna be great. Um, all right, Toast is dropping $15. Oh. What? No, no! Get over here and help! I don't think I want to, really. If we don't deal with them gnolls, none of us are getting out of here alive. There is a way around, for sure. Um. Ooh, there is another way out. Follow me. Okay, so we can rescue them. You know what? We're going to be nice guys. Across the chasm? You might have got in that way, but you're stuck with us now. Why? Off devil you might be. But I don't see any wings. Dog, I jumped that. Can you not jump over a chasm? All right, hold the line while I prepare for battle. Don't worry. I'll be right there to help with the battle. Um, Aye, that we can do. The fight yeah, I'll just be right over here prepping. Be quick about <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> when the fighting starts, we'll uh, right Toast, thank you for dropping you. $15, you generous mother goose. Saying, oh, critical success. Nice. Um, yeah, let's just open all this. Hands off that. Toast. All right, then uh, we're gonna steal. Great. By the black hand, I told you to leave that alone. Yeah, but I didn't listen. That's the difference. Oh, now you're fighting us, dog. No, come on. I have no idea what this quest is. Hold on, Astarian. I need you to open this up. What? There's like nothing in there. Iron flask, some gold. Oh, that iron flask is actually extremely valuable. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna take all and I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this item and be like sorry I didn't mean to there you go. I dropped it. Sorry, bud <laughs> Didn't mean to sorry 
I wonder how we get out of this in a in a clever way that doesn't end up with us all dead. Um, how about we dash away? Firebomb the guy. Yeah, but I'm like, he's not like an enemy right now, right? Like it doesn't really feel right to do that yet. Firebomb the guy. Be quick. Like he's mad at us, but we did just steal from him. So I guess Astarian can make his way out here. Ah, that sucks. Come here, Fresh meat. Oh, well now he's actually being pretty rude. Oh, okay, yeah, no, so for sure I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not about that. I'm not about that life, sir. Um, so here's here's what happens next, okay? Um I really did I didn't want to, but like yeah, dog, you're, um, that's going to be a problem for me. Hold up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, move. To like, I don't know, like, say like right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do a, a little little thundery situation. No, I don't want to hit my friends. Damn. How do I not hit my friends? Like, I'm right here. Um, <laughs> um, that doesn't go hard enough there. Um, how do I, I want to get like closer to him? Still breathing. Um, shoot, I can't get any closer and that's gonna hit my friends. Actually, I wonder if I can move them away. I can't, I can't. Um, you know what? Let's see how this goes. I think this will only hit him and the chest. Try it. Saved! Aw, oh, dang, dude. All right, well, that sucks. Well, I thought it failed. That sucks, too. Slow down. And now he's getting an attack of opportunity on us. That sucks. <laughs> oh, well. Now Ollie is here, and Ollie's not happy. Ollie, I don't appreciate you doing that. That's not like you, my guy. You've never been that rude before. All right, Gail. We got a whole situation for you. Um, go ahead and uh, blast him, my guy. There it goes. Whee! Bye-bye. I'm sorry. Oh, we get experience for that one. Okay, cool, fun, nice. Um, okay, well, I do feel a little bad about that. Not very, but a little. Fury. I am death. Yeah, me too, dog. Um, let's see, there's crates over here. Is there even anything worth it up here? Kind of don't want to ruin their lives more? Um, I think Lazel should just shoot him. It's not nice. Um, it's sure not nice, but tell you what, um, it is sure the thing that happens next. Here you go. Oh, full miss. That sucks. All right. Well, whatever. Um, Lazel, let's get you out of here too. Wait, is there something up here? No. Yes. No. All right. It's a canon event. It's definitely in character. Yeah. I mean, all we did was try to steal a little bit and now he's being a little rude about it, frankly. Like, I didn't want to fight him. Um, so Toast asks, favorite number? Um, Toast, I think that would probably have to be five. When I was a kid, uh, I grabbed like a, a die one day and just started rolling and I kept getting five over and over and over again. Oh, my character's almost dead. Um, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we definitely should have firebombed him. Um, yeah, that's for sure the move. This is rough, y'all. We're not doing so great. And we definitely can't take down all these gnolls. Again, we tried before. So theoretically, what we should do is have Astarion be like again, we're all we're all dying here. There's there's no way. Um Oh, he's dead dead. Yeah, we can't have our main character dead dead. That just doesn't work. I'm sorry. I know it's not fun. It kind of sucks. We're gonna load. God dang it, dude. God dang it, dude. Ugh. It's getting dicey in here. Um, yeah, so probably five. I wish there was a more interesting version. I think anything beyond that would probably be like passwords <laughs> that I use. I don't want to do that. Okay, so here's what we do. How delicious. Starion is going to ungroup. So it's by himself. He is going to be a sneaky man's. Gonna be a sneaky man's. And as a sneaky man's, if there weren't other people walking near him, That's we'd be curious. fine. So we are now going to, um, we're gonna steal the entirety of this chest. 
You don't hide trinkets in a box like that. There you go. There That's how you do it. Everything's fine. Nope. Can't see me. Can't see me. Um, that's great. This is really great. Um, so now we're back to me. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, jump on down. Good luck, everyone. Bye. Good luck. We'll, we'll miss you for sure. Good luck. Um, okay, we, we jump. There we go. A box for my trinkets. Exactly. Oh, God. That audio went away for so long, and I did indeed miss it. Did he just put the whole chest in his pocket? He sure did. And now we can get rid of it at our leisure. Can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. What do you mean can't go there? I got I got over here, didn't I? Oh no! Oh no, I didn't even think about that, dude! No! So when we hit that second one and I was like, well, it hit me, that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles, lol. Tell you what though, tell you what though, you know what we can do. Oh, this sucks. We don't have a fast travel anywhere near here, dude. Ugh, to the blighted village we go. Sucks. Okay, well, Astarian, what do we get from our magic portal shenanigans? Um, it is open, but it is locked. We're gonna lock pick this item. Add bonus of guidance. Difficulty level 20. Woo, we did it. Nice. Um, we got a couple more new subscribers. Everybody, please give a surprise for Clever Coop. Welcome to Hawaiian Funk and the Celestial Nerd. Oh, I do so love it. Um, boop, boop, boop. Great. So this iron flask is pretty cool. Inspect. Decorated with a grinning face. Yeah, I knew this had to be something. Iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Hmm. Um, what's his arcana? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to save before we do this because I don't really trust it. You know what? Yeah, but you know what? Let's explore. Let's do it. Oh, nat one. No, that's an auto fail. It's so bad, dude. I'm going to roll again. There's no way. That could be... If this is a special magical item, that could be really bad consequences with a nat natural one. Hey, y'all, just so you know, um, there's no there's no spoilers or backseat gaming in games. So as much as I appreciate your your um being involved in the stream, and you could definitely do that emotionally, I don't want to know what's inside. I don't want to know what's inside until I open it. This is a powerful magical item capable of trapping and holding a creature. Mm. The sealed stopper suggests it is inhabited. Oh, there's something in there. Very nice. So I'm not going to open that up yet. That could be a big old situation. Well, now I do indeed know where it's, what is in there. That is okay. You probably did not know. And that's why I said it. So nobody's in trouble. Nobody's mad. Just letting you know. All right. So now back to where... Damn, we really... We need to find Carlock. I want to find Carlock, damn it. Sorry to cuss, but damn. Damn and heck. Heck and darn. Um, all right. Sorry, and what's your deal? Why are you all glowy magic? situation I've no, I'm, I'm sure all will be revealed in time but I don't like it a waste of perfectly good treasure oh I think maybe that's just guidance he's got guidance yeah he's got guidance on this whole thing um cool Astarian is indeed still stealthing let's get rid of that unhide I've got a long road ahead long road ahead dang Just have to keep this guy going north for as long as possible. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for the stream today. Ah, oh, Sarah X Moon, I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. It's been a very long day, but I did not want to miss stream. It did not sound good to me to do that. It's Axe body. Bottle spray? That's, a, that's, that's spray for Axe, so that Axe doesn't smell bad. You have to use axe, but you can just spray it with something else to make it scent, smell a little better, I guess. God, there's got to be a, a fast travel around here that we've missed because I have had to run into this so many times. Um, all right. Uh, find the Githyanki Kresh. Uh, investigate the beach. Beach. Um, okay. Carlock is to the east. That is what we will explore. And we obviously missed it before. We probably missed it before. That's okay. We're going to find Carla. Um, Hunwick's dropping four bucks. What's up, Hunwick's? Good to see you. 
um hunwick says it's been a while since i stopped in but i got some news i wanted to share okay you might remember that i've been auditioning for drama school for a while they had a final audition with my dream school last week and i got the call i'm going to lambda and that's from maddie maddie congratulations that is so 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 flipping cool and exciting and i am so so happy for you um there's a lot to be proud of getting into the school you want to go to and you know i think for anybody out there who did not get into the school they wanted and had to sort of pivot that's always okay too you know there's always more options and you can always figure out new sort of routes for yourself but that being said it's flipping cool when things work out and i'm really happy for you um so major congrats thanks for hyping them up in the chat y'all i love it i love it Ooh, a single buckle all right so again we found this area and we know for a fact Ooh, yeah some goodies airwolf vice nice um there are some goodies here we know that for sure um but we still need to find carlock and it's been a little tricky to find her i don't know where she is yet you know what maybe i should check the uh quest listing um rather uh, uh, uh that's jay quests um the b -b 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 companions the blade of frontiers uh, we met a group of paladins they target the the same spooky lady who will is hunting they provided us with her exact whereabouts which i remember uh we recruited will a monster hunter noting noted as the blade of frontiers he's on a mission to kill carlock okay um so i remember when um i remember i remember when they said her exact coordinates um so that's totally fine I'm just curious if anyone else remembers her exact coordinates, and if they do, can you prove it by... Again, it's a no backseating stream, but sometimes I invite it when I specifically am like, Hey, how, what do I do? Um, and I might be doing that right now. Uh, all I remember is near the river, I think. Okay, in a van down by the river. Is it this river, I wonder? No, that's a lake. Um, this is a river down south. So I have to make my way down here. The riverfront does it not show up on the map it sure doesn't not from what i can tell i could be wrong um all right so i'm gonna be heading south to the river hunwicks i'm so stoked for you and i hope you're proud of yourself because you should be i'm not pretty cool all right now that i know it's down by the river we're golden um i didn't take feather falls so i'm not gonna be able to do that oh there we go dead toll collector yeah give me back my tolls guy come on give me back my tolls I'd like all my tolls back, please. Yeah, they're my tolls. All right, what now? All right, what now? You want to make Will a necromancer? That'd be kind of sick. Not Will. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. uh, Greg. What's his name? Gale. There we go. Greg. Tiana dropping 369. Nice. Um, thank you very much, Tiana. Saying, uh, hey, mate, jumped in for a moment earlier to say hi. Spending time with friends now. Just wanted to double check you got the parcel. Um, have fun with BG and sending love to the Clever Coop. So, Tiana, um, I. If, if you're talking about one that arrived today, I haven't had a chance to actually go yet. It was a very busy day on set, um, working from beginning of day till the sun went down. Um, but I thank you. Ooh, there's Carlock. Cool. How do I look? Okay, good. I'm good. Um, Thunderwave on myself. And you know what? Astarian... No, I was going to say Astarian has, like, way more um, 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 riz. <laughs> um, but I am a tiefling like Carlock, uh, which, again, is, like, a half-fiend. So, um... I want to I wanna make a good impression. Maybe she'll trust me more because I'm a tiefling. Because I know we get a bad rap. Hi, Carlock. How are you? She's pretty. Uh, isn't she? Oh, she's Goku, dude. Yeah, why would you not romance her? Goku lady? One horn. This is the devil will and the paladins of Teal. Then she makes dead. eye contact and we're like <laughs> Tiefling. Um Oh, I'd know that stink anywhere. I don't think I'm gonna say that. Uh try to douse the flame. She looks dangerous. These are no natural flames prepared to fight. I'm gonna ask her if she's alright. I'm gonna be nice. Galneath or Galneath, thank you for subscribing for the first time. A very sparsely. Welcome to you. As well as uh cat.mov or cat.move. Um, thank you. And then Liv is gifting us up to Sarah X Moon. Thank you, Liv, and welcome, Sarah. Um, are you all right? Me. <sighs> Never been better. Nice. Okay, she made that eye contact. We're like, woo. Two tieflings. Me. Society won't it's like it. It's you from the Nautiloid. Ooh, you recognize. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Um, let's see. Um, um. 
Uh, we did meet those paladins, so I don't want to say anything about that. Um, I don't remember you from the ship. Where were you? Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins are... A great heat roars through you. Fire heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. Uh -oh. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This Ooh, so she was in the heat line. of battle, I guess literally, and then got kidnapped. Um, um, let's see here. Um, it's the tadpole in our heads. It connects us. Oh, I guess she hasn't, um, Mountains met anyone who's like us yet. See. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are... Um, what's this? Uh, charmed, I'm sure. Um, what's this character's story? Little Dreamer? I don't know yet. Um, this is the first time I've met her. Um, Peach the Papa was giving a sub to B713. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. I'm Dainian. Um, uh, I'm your key to curing that tadpole uh, eventually. Here to take your head. No, I'm just going to introduce I'm just going to be a polite boy. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old she called pals, me soldier. how would you feel about helping me kill some evil <laughs> Could it be fate? Um, a little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the blood war. So there's this devil. <laughs> really good. So good, Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. Oh. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now Ooh, I'm Ooh, that's free. a lot, though. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. Two goons? But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Dopes and goons? Help Dude. Take them down? She's had a rough go of things. Um. Um. Let's send them back where they came from. Uh, well, I don't want to just wage war on these paladins. They're also a little beefy. Um. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry. I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? You want to just team up with some blood-stained killer? Because I'm fine with that. <laughs> ah! That's why everyone loves Astarium. Um, and I'll just ask, why should I do your dirty work? Dirty work's the only kind I like. Gets even messier the more bodies you throw at it. Think of the potential. I'm gonna say let's do it. Like... I don't want because again she's gonna fight the paladins either way um psychotic joker subscribing for the first time a very obviously clever coop welcome to you thank you very much um and i do see i'm a little behind on tips so don't you worry i will read them out i'm sorry i've missed them um i'm just focused on the game here let's do it fuck yes they cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. They did have a sword anyway, I wanted to give to Lazo. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Oh, uh, so she really wants to be a part of this. Okay. So she's chilling at camp. Um, she left her backpack. Dog, you got arson oil? And an ice arrow? That just seems mean. Whatever you're planning to do with both of those things, that sucks. Um, all right. So then I guess we got to swap her out for... Man, Gail... Gail's been having a rough go of things. Also, damn, we need to level up. We, our characters are just weak little babos. Weak little babos. Oh, her and Will... Oh, God, her and Will are both at camp. You're right. Um, <laughs> ah, let's go to camp. Where everything is fine. Gabby, she is a barbarian. A Barbarian. What's the story? Wishbone. What's the story, Wishbone? It's about those paladins you want us to confront. Yeah. Let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Whoa, cussing Just a swear? Say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tear. 
No honor among devils. Okay. Um. Come on, heading out. All right, so we got to send someone back. Lazel already. See, having a fighter is great. Asterion might not be the. Mm, no, Gale's gonna get rocked in this fight. Maybe Gale should be. Oh, excellent choice. Hmm. Yeah, I think Gale is a little too squishy for this like close quarters fight. Um. Right now, so let's let's talk to Gale. Yeah, let's do that. Is that blood? Um, but you know, everybody levels up all at once together, so we can we can always bring back people as we so so choose. Let's get going. We don't have to worry. An ally fresh from the hells themselves. Hmm. Our company grows stranger by the minute. I need you to better for it. I need you to remain in camp for a while, rather than on the road with me. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Uh, perhaps we'll travel together again later. They always the make you feel guilty every single time. I'm like, dog, why? Um, I also want to talk to Will about this once we have Carlock in the party and be like, hey, bud. Hey, how do we feel together for Why's both of us? Down? Come on, we're heading out. Aces. Aces. Oh, God, she's cool. But we also get to level oh, her up. I could go for a good meal. Yeah, I bet you could. Um... We got Spacey Sav drop in. Six, 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 buck, buck, buck. 69 cents. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Spacey Sav, saying, Happy Tuesday. Thank you for functioning as my podcast while I make beer battered fish and chips tonight. That sounds delicious, and I'm so jealous. I would love some fish and chips. Um, I found the bone plants. Thanks for the tip. Oh, that's cool. I guess you found them already pre made online. Um, it's totally fine to make them yourself or find them pre made. That's cool, too. Thanks for the tip. In exchange, you're featured on the white man of the week plaque i keep on my desk stay clever okay sure honored to be honored thank you except lamau white man of the week says florian yeah so i don't know anything about you so my mind went through that being like i don't know what who who you are so my hope is that you don't have a white man of the week plaque while also being a white man? That for me would be like, but like anybody else, like if you're anybody else that's like, ha ha, but that's why I'm like not reacting live on camera. Cause I'm like, I don't know the context of the thing you said. You are a woman of color. There we go. Thank you, Spacey Seb. Thank you for that context. Now let me take that again. Um, you turn on the white man of the week plaque. I keep on my desk. Stay clever. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love that. I love that you have that. That's very funny. Uh, okay, that's way different and way better. Thank you for the context. <laughs> Just for a minute, I was like, I can't be here. <laughs> I can't be here. Um, Alrighty, so now we get to choose the subclass of barbarian that we want to go here. Oh, wild magic. That's... That's cool and weird. Okay, so Wildheart, your attunement with nature and its beasts inspires your rage, empowering you with supernatural might. I don't think I would do Wildheart. There is Berserker. Violence is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrammeled fury, slick with blood as you thrill in the chaos of battle, heedless of your own well-being. So she kind of just goes nuts and rages, which is pretty cool. Also, Frenzied Strike and Enraged Throw. Okay, so she's just chucking stuff everywhere. And then Wild Magic is really... Cool, but I don't think I want to do that for this playthrough. It is. <sighs> so here's how wild magic. Oh, wait, everybody's saying wild magic. Is it really like the move in this game? Berserker, Berserker. Okay, now we've got people saying Berserker. So here's the deal with my wild magic, right? So barbarians of wild magic. She has a tail? Yeah, she's a tiefling, just like we do. Um, So wild magic is basically when you enter this rage state as a barbarian. Um you have a chance to have a single magical effect take place. And wild magic is something in this game that is not controlled. Same thing with um, sorcerer, um, you know, etc. So basically in game, it would roll like anywhere from a one to an eight and whatever number you roll has a specific effect. So number two might be like your feet in engulf in fire. And every time you move near an enemy, it takes fire damage or um, you uh, take, you deal ice damage to an enemy whenever you're hit. So it's like, it's interesting 
but also i don't know what the deal is i kind of am interested in berserker because i know they have enraged throw and you could literally like throw an enemy at another enemy we can always change it later i kind of want to try berserker tiny lowliza wait is she only level two no she's level three great tiny lowliza is dropping five flipping gift subs thank you so much tiny lowliza i appreciate you oodles of much um tiny lowliza says or is gifting to um shelb 96 blair bogus uh or Boges, um alana uh guadats 99 and then loba um thank you for doing that um oh man dude i wish you could get someone else's um inventory while you were in camp and didn't have them in your party it kind of that is one major thing in this game that i'm just like ah, come on because i think gail picked up the uh the axe that I wanted to give to Carlock, Carlack, and I, I can't now unless it's in this um the travel chest. I don't think so. Um, traveler's chest. Let's go. All right, Carlock. Carlack. Is there a limited number of times you can go to camp? There is not. However, there is a limited amount of times that you can long rest at camp. You do have to find, um, you have to find supplies that allow you to do that. Um, that being said, there's so many. There's just so many. Um, okay, so we have a mall, which is a little bit better. Okay, so I think Gale has that axe, and that sucks. Um, is Lazelle still carrying a dead child? That's neither here nor there. Yep. <laughs> ah! Uh, oops. Tell you what, um, let's have Damien talk to um, Starian, have a Starian wait here, and then we'll talk to Gail real quick. I knew we were an author plus. I appreciate anyone who I think it's better if you stay here for a moment. Please stay here. Uh, yeah, don't make me feel bad every time, dog. That sucks. Um, Gail, where's Will? Oh, so Will has that helmet on his head. That's ridiculous. What is she doing with it? Safekeeping. What is it going to get deader? No. Go ahead. I'm Join me wait. with pleasure. Um, all right. Um, now I need you to throw all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this into a specific place. Uh, send to camp. I know we could just hold on to it, but I don't want to. There does need to be a quicker and easier way to deal with um, swapping out people. We'll travel together later. All right, Carlock. You go here. I know I should have just grabbed it. I didn't. That's silly. I didn't. That's okay. She's carrying it till the end of game. Look, if y'all want to challenge me to do Soldier. something like that, I'll do it. Sounds boring. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Yes. You're here. Did I leave? Oh, Starion. Gosh dang it. See, this is all too. This is all too much. It's all too much. Need um, something. Need something. I need you in my party. Darling. Darling. I thought you'd, you'd never ask. Lead on. Doodly do. And totally schools. Um, I'm going to save again. New save. All right. Now we're going to give this to Carlo. Dead child playthrough. You know what? On second thought, maybe we don't have to call it that. Ah! All right. So we need uh, Carlo to have this helm. We need Carlo to have. Uh, this great axe plus one, which is so cool. This, um, okay. These gloves of heroism are great. And then simple robe. Uh, no, I guess we don't have any armor right now, which I guess I should have probably saved. What do you got, Carlock? We got on you. Um, barbarian clothes. Well, I guess, um, padded armor is better than barbarian clothes. That's good. So we'll take that, I guess. Um, scruffy vagabond clothes. Didn't we have, um, I thought we had some uh druid clothes that we ended up holding on to maybe not um, i also wonder carlock are you able to okay i think carlock is able to use a light crossbow she already has a light crossbow okay we're good we're golden we're good Shield? no we'll just hold on to it just in case. all right great um ah oh, barbarians don't want armor they get constitution of their ac interesting okay well that works um then let's give you cool gloves though right yeah there we go wait ac 13 versus okay so that at least works AC 13 is fine. Are you serious? Like, that, hold on. Hey, AC 12, you're right. Damn. I guess, I, you know, I've never played a barbarian, so I wouldn't know. But that's pretty wild to me. I'd all the time. Great. Um, 
I love that they're just like, you can add their underwear. <laughs> okay, so Carlock is now stacked with weaponry with a better great axe. Um, no I think we're gonna be just fine. I think we're gonna be just fine here. So let's go back to Lighten. Let's leave calm. Um, Jepperhead, you generous mother goose, thinking you'd slip under the radar an hour later, and I'm very sorry about that. Jepperhead, y'all, is dropping. Ooh, talk like this key. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that was probably the thing that we unlocked um, and stole. Oops. Um, Jepperhead is dropping a hundred and forty dollars and sixty nine cents. Nice. Uh, can we please get just so many generous mother geese in chat? That is bonkers. Nice of you. As always, you did not have to do that. Um, for anyone who's new here, Jepperhead is a very generous, silent Mother Goose. And they never add a message to their very generous tippins, um, but it's always appreciated. Um, and thank you very much, Jepperhead. I hope you're doing well. You silent kindness. The silent kindness starring Jepperhead. Um, still breathing. Still breathing. Despite everything. Despite everything. Mm. Okay, so now we need to murder all these mans. Now, I do wonder if we can talk our way out of it with everybody. I do wonder if that's a thing. Um, that being said, we can also sneak up to the roof, I think, and wreak some shenanigans. Okay, ooh, a soul coin. That's important. Pleasurable deal. Um, all right, so... Let's go on in here. Let's go ahead and hide. Starion, take the lead. Quietly. Quiet now. Right, so. Smell that? Here's what we do. Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? Let's I do see, not yeah. need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. I wonder if shooting this would actually do anything from this distance. Perhaps. Perhaps it would. Or should I instead be a sneaky bastard and kill them anyway? Hmm. Let's see here. Sorry. Jump down there. Do some sneaky shenanigans. I think perhaps that's maybe our better move than doing this up here. Can't reach destination. Um, sneak attack range. I mean, that's also pretty good. Or sneak attack range on this guy. It's another level five. I'm a little nervous about being able to take him down, but at the very least, we can try. You oh, to fight. nice. And now you have one. Um, okay. Well, at least they're, um, oh my God. I didn't know you'd be able to do damage to me. It's cheating. Uh. Your turn. Right, Astorian. Let's finish what we started. Let's finish what we started. <laughs> um, let's do... I don't think we can sneak at this point. Oh, we can. Let's just keep doing sneak attacks against Anders because that's going to be our best bet here. Another 13 damage is frankly absurd. Um, and he's going to go back into hiding. There we go. And, uh, end this turn. Oh, greater healing on yourself, dude. That is straight up cheating, dude. Kind of hate that for sure. Wait, I wonder if this would hit him by there. Yeah, maybe. Full person on Carlock. Dude, that's cheating, dude. You can't do that. Um, tell you what, though. Lazel would be next. So Lazel would actually be able to do some awesome damage to him in that way. Hey, we got noises dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you so much, noises. Um, noises uh, says uh, is giving to Noah Lost in Space, not Hot Guy. M O N. Um, Cotton Eye Joe four twenty, and then Merrick one fifteen. Thank you so much for doing that. I greatly appreciate you. Um, that's very very nice of you. Um, welcome to all the newbies here. Moonbeam. All right, doing that moonbeam damage, and now we're also gonna have us uh, wild shape into. 
screw it let's do a bear again bear is just good all the time until we get um owl bear i think just bear um and again jabberhead thank you so much i always feel like i never say enough but you're always very very generous and it is greatly um appreciated so truly thank you um i'm gonna have everyone go from up here because if i land on someone as a bear as a real heavy guy that's still gonna do a lot of damage um okay so let's do i think maybe we'd be able to damage from here Did it hit him yeah it hit him for sure that's awesome um what if we actually i think she would be able to flip and kill him with a fainting attack potentially let's do an action surge on her we might as well do that hefty hefty damage and i want her to um you gotta what do you mean you can't reach destination you gotta you just gotta move how can you not move Oh my God, is she trapped right here? And I literally just did an action surge, which I now can't follow through on. That actually really sucks. Um, oh no, oh no, 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 that sucks. Um, let's see, get Yankee psionics to do it. Ah, oh God, that's, a, but jump takes an action. Oh, it takes a bonus action. Nice, okay, thank you. That's good to know, didn't know that. Didn't know it, I didn't know. Bonus action, let's go. Jump to Anders. And we're going to do, uh, let's see, disarming, uh, fainting attack we can't do. Disarming attack melee. There we go. 60% chance, but this could kill him. Let's go. And yeah, she's right in the middle of Moonbeam, but who cares? Um, can she move anymore? She can. Uh, I guess she can't disengage, so whatever. Yeah, miss. Miss me with that attack. There we go. All right. Astarian is back, baby. Anders has three health left. So I think who's after Astarian? Anders would, uh, Anders is going to attack us if I don't kill him. So as much as I hate to do it, I think I've got to, oh, no, nope, uh, that's a 70% chance to hit. Um, how about, how about this? Sneak attack, must have advantage. We do have advantage. We're sneaking, I thought. And we're also like above him? Weird, okay. Um, sneak attack is a, is a range attack. Okay, 70%. I like those odds. Oh, baby, we got him. We murdered the man. Um, that'll learn him. That'll learn him a thing or two about uh, trying to do a murder on us. That's the trick. That's the trick for me here. Um, I guess we do another bonus action to get down. No, I'm going to have him hide again. Hiding successful. Excellent. I guess my guy who's a bear really shouldn't have um, left like I made him do. Um, all right. Uh, next up is uh, we're going to battle Trin. Ah, uh, yes. The fainting attack. Good luck. Yo! -ho! Critical hit for 30 damage. There's no bonus? I don't get a bonus for that. All right. That's fine. That's a lot of damage, y'all. So much for peace. So much for peace. Yes, exactly. Um, so I'm gonna go here. Can I? Oh, I can just straight up attack her from here. Nice. Um, no, oh, not enough movement. Damn, we would be close, huh? So let's let's try. Um, can I can I jump on her? I'd fall and be prone. Shoot. Um. Okay. Let's uh, tell you what. Let's make our way down here. What do you mean not enough movement? You have enough movement. Go right there. And we are going to use um, Goading Roar to make every... Oh, wait. Can we hit from here? We sure can. The game lied to us. Amazing. End turn. Doodly dudes. All right. Hiding failed. Hiding successful. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, Damn. Astarian's doing work as a sneaky lad. High ground with 90%, high ground with uh, 15%. I mean, we do want to get Trin down, even though it's 65%. How much health do you have? 14. I mean, if it's only a 65% chance, that's not great, but she would be... Oh, wait. No, she's not going next. Okay, we can do our thing. Sneak attack, baby. Nice. 26 damage. I mean, this is such a high-power team right now, y'all. It's... It's absolutely nuts. I do feel a little bad for Carlock because she was like, yeah, like, let's save the fun for me. We're going to have an awesome time as I battle these mans. And then not once 
if I let her do a damn thing. Um, hello? There we go. Anders. Oh, yeah. Give us that sword of justice. Give us that sword of justice. Um, what do you, what's your deal, Carlock? How, how far can you go here? Cleave, ranged attack, legacy of Avernus searing smite? That's cool. Um, can we hit from here? Yes, we can. Show him who you are. Carlock uses main hand attack on Trin. Um, they need 15 to hit and they rolled an eight, so you can gain advantage using a reckless attack. Let's do it. There we go. Nice. Oh, we got through all of this. That's so great. We really nailed this. Uh, Carlock, by the way, I'm a bear. I know I never told you. Fuck them. Fuck Thoriel. I won't go back. Mm -hmm. I'm never coming back. Okay, well, we killed the guys. You're good. These little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Where was this in the battle? Because you were just chilling. Um... All right. Daryl won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. Yeah, I know. She we can't. killed everyone. She <laughs> <even> <laughs> <lay a finger. laughs> no, you got kind of rocked in this fight for sure. Big save successful. Oh, she's just sort of going to town. All right. Well, yeah, do your thing. Far be it for me to um stop you. But let us also loot everybody first because it'd be a shame to lose out on all these goodies as you're just sort of doing your thing um okay well yeah no hit it for sure um we should get out of this burning location i'm gonna go ahead and say oh supply sack though i do want that um yeah let's get out of the burning location let's for sure get out of here um everybody we good everybody huddle up a uh, quiet coyote follow me follow me everyone uh quiet coyote yeah yeah um god there's so many places that have wood here um all right, let's make our way out here. Uh, how's everybody feeling? We did it. Um, all right, let's just um, let's let her tuck herself out. That's fine. Um, jib her head again. Damn, that's very nice, and I appreciate you. Um, melting sandwich dropping five dollars. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, melting sandwich. Saying what's up, dames? Not much, melting sandwich. How are you? Um, thank you for that the tip. To do it. <laughs> That'll do it. <gasps> Just spitting fire everywhere. Um, what's up, James? Glad I can make it to a stream. I'm glad you did as well. I uh, start my senior year of high school tomorrow. Wish me luck. And luckily, I get to finish in December. Congratulations. Hope you're doing well. Pet the cats for me. It says Shy or Shay. I don't, I don't know which. But um, I appreciate you so much. And congratulations on starting senior year. Is that is so cool. Coast, I am stoked for you. Um, I yes. will also say, because you are a youngin' and you are in high school, as much as I appreciate the $5 tip, definitely hold on to your money. You're going to need that for high school or things. Treat yourself to some coffee, some boba. You're going to be so stressed as a senior. I mean, senior year is great, but, like, get a boba. Treat yourself. But, again, thank you. I do appreciate it. I don't want you to feel like I don't. But I also, I'm a, I'm a grown-up with a full-time job. You got you to gotta live your life and enjoy your, your sweet, sweet, sweet boba. Shy. Okay, it is shy. What a lovely name. Well, I appreciate you and thank you. But hold on to your monies. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fire lasted a little longer than it should. Um, I like the look of it. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, <gasps> I might explode. Woo! Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Oh, interesting. Hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Hey, what's up, Colvin? Won't be seeing or my Elvin. mechanic Welcome anytime to you. soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. So I actually found something very interesting on TikTok, which I kind of dig. Um, so I'll show you that in a minute. How the hells did you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance. And a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. Have you tried Tom? Well, it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Literal game. Let's save the <laughs> show for later. After That's why they call me Baldur's Gate 3. She said. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. 
they switched microphones between those two takes. I wonder if one of them was recorded in pandemic. Huh. One of those was definitely a home studio recording and the other was in studio. That's very interesting. I haven't been able to hear that too much in games lately. But that is interesting. I guess this would be the time, huh? Um, wonder if they meant Damon, a tiefling weaponsmith. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. The second one was a good quality, a tuna, but it sounded less rich. It was a little more tinny. It, it had the high tones more than the leveled out bass tones. How'd you notice that? Um, I'm autistic and I'm a voice actor. <laughs> I think that's probably the best answer I can give you. Um, I mean, I also could be full of crap, but something was very different. Whether they went on a break and the, they changed sound engineers or something. But my assumption is, um, as I said, so... Your two superpowers? I guess, dog. It was very interesting. I did recently have a good conversation with my um therapist, and I won't get too 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 into it because it was a it was a really eye-opening one for me, but it's also very personal. Um it was nice and it was sort of about like viewing autism as a uh, flight that is correct. It did sound a little further away. Uh farther away rather. Um <laughs> oh! Ooh, that's Betsa. Um, yeah, it was it was regarding you know <sighs> autism and how I can sort of view the world through it and with it and the proper lens to view things through that is healthy for me, etc. Um, you know, it, yeah, maybe one of these days I'll get into it, but you know, it was a, it was a good thing for myself. But that was, that was sort of her takeaway is like you know you can view your tism as a um. As a superpower. And yeah, she didn't call it my tism. Ooh, Lazelle levels up. Okay, so that means we only need to find a little bit more um, action before we level up. So I wonder if we can fight just like one or two things. Maybe off to the west here. Um, we don't want to find the Githyanki Kresh yet. Save the refugees, return to Zavlor. You know what? Um, if we're going to be finding Halson as well, I wonder if the refugees return to Zavlor. No, we don't need to do that yet. Um, yeah, let's go down to the Blighted Village and see if we can just find some, some action here. Oh, wait, there are some goblins we didn't end up fighting because we convinced them that they shouldn't fight us. I wonder if we should make them regret that. Oh, a beehive! Nice, wait. Hold on. I've thought about this. We should use Mage Hand for that beehive. I've always been curious what a Patriarch Lou looks like. Alright, uh, Mage Hand, go. Why don't you get on that beehive over there? Wait, can you not do anything with that beehive? That doesn't make... Dude, Mage Hand has been straight up useless for everything so far. I don't even get it. What? Do I, can I throw the beehive? No. Can I shove the beehive? No. Can I fly the hive? No. God, that's... Oh, wait, unarmed strike on the beehive. There we go. What? Are these just the most chill bees of all time? I suppose. Still alive. So that's progress. All right, I guess we just open the beehive. Man, I should have picked anything but mage hand, dog. Take all, and then we run. The gods are watching me. Okay, I guess there's no bee status effect where they're like, oops, you get rocked by bees. Um, great, cool. I mean, I like that that didn't happen, but you know, damn. We have a full melee crew right now. I guess we should level, level up Lazel just while we have it. Nice. New feet available. Ooh. So feats are some of the best things in game. And a lot of y'all maybe haven't seen this yet if you don't know a lot about D&D. So usually when you level up, you have an option. Do you want to increase your ability score at certain levels? Uh, for example, four here. Do you want to increase your ability score? Like give yourself an extra bit of strength and you get an extra bonus on the even numbers. So our strength is 17, we have plus three strength checks. If we got to 18, we'd have plus four. That's pretty good. Or you get something called a feat. So um, you increase one ability by two or two abilities by one. That's really good. That's really good. But there are other things such as, um, do they have crusher? They don't have crusher. 
Um, so let's see. She is a fighter. So great, great weapon master. All right. So this would be an example. When you land a critical hit or kill a target with a melee weapon attack, you can make another melee weapon attack as a bonus action that turn. Attacks with heavy melee weapons you are proficient with can deal an additional 10 damage at the cost of a minus five attack roll penalty. So for example, if Lazel crushes a smaller enemy with her weapon, she can turn to the next enemy and attack that one too. Um, so that's kind of huge. Um, let's see here. You gain proficiency with heavy armor. I think she already has it as a... Does she already have that? We should look at our character sheet here. Character features. Uh, great weapon fighting. Uh, opportunity attack. Uh, is there a way to check our character sheet in this area? We we should. Um, there's also a favorite of mine. And I see you saying that. Uh, Taylin. Taylin. Um... Sentinel. Sentinel is great because when an enemy is within melee range and it attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against that enemy. So usually an enemy would have to like turn their back to you and start to walk away for you to be like, bup, 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 Buster Brown, then kablooey. Um, so I do, Zeverus, thank you very much. I was actually looking for proficiency on things. If I have heavy weapon um, proficiency already, but I suppose not. Um, but thank you, though. Um, but this one also gives us advantage on opportunity attacks. And when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, it can no longer move for the rest of its turn. So frankly, Sentinel is probably going to be probably going to be our best bet here. Um, as good as everything else is, I, I think I want Sentinel. Um, Elena Puff says D&D &D sounds so complicated. So Elena Puff, it's kind of, first of all, wonderful to see you. Um, it's as complicated as you want to make it, right? So all you really have to know is stuff about your character. And... You know, for example, you could have, you could have just leveled up your abilities here and you would have been great. That would have been a great choice and totally fine. It's just that like when you want to get into it a little bit later and you're like, oh, actually, ah, Sentinel's kind of cool. Like I just read up on this effect. Then like, great. I see Lucky as an option. Lucky's awesome, but I think I would take Sentinel for my fighter against Lucky. So Angelica Bito is dropping 10 flippin' dollars. Angelica, I greatly appreciate you for doing that. Um, Angelica says, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Angelica. I hope you're having a marvelous day. Um, so Angelica says, uh, just got back from an amazing birthday dinner. Ooh, hell yeah, what was it? Tell us about that birthday dinner. Let me um, live through you right now because I'm having boy dinner tonight. It'll still be nutritious. It's just not gonna be a birthday dinner. Um, Damien, uh, oh, uh, so happy to come back to a stream. Damien, you are the best, and thank you for the laughs. Angelica, that's very sweet. Thank you. And thanks, y'all, for dropping cakes for Angelica. It's my favorite, um, young adult novel, Cakes for Angelica. Um, ooh, okay, so an enemy is around here. If you can see this, oh, it's a goblin camp. Oh, that's a big deal. Um, I wonder if we can instead be friendly and talk to them first. Oh, wait, we all have level ups. Yo, uh, what's your boy dinner? Um, I'll probably have like charcuterie boy, boy dinner. So it'll be like um, prosciutto, uh, brie, uh, crackers made with almond flour. Um, Angelica, if you are no longer in stream, I hope you just have had a marvelous birthday and you hear this later. Um, and I'll just have to hear about your birthday dinner later. So let's level up our peeps here because this is going to be important. Um, Danksy Dam! Danksy Dam, I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you. Lovely to see you. Dropping five, uh, 750 bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, and also, um, everybody please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to, uh, Tilted Pinball. Uh, Demonic Amanda, gifted by Deku Nut. Thank you very much for doing that. Crow Blood Ghost, that's a metal name. Um, Galneth. Oh, we already talked about Galneth. And then, um, My Dolph is gifting to Carlock. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so... Astarian also gets um, this this boost to uh, a feat. So I always love alert, but probably not for Astarian. But a plus five to initiative means you're going to go sooner in the fight, right? Strength or dexterity increases. Um, athlete is great. Um, let's see here. But I think there's going to be better things for him being a sneaky guy. So let's see here. And use two weapon fighting even if your weapons aren't light you just gain a plus one bonus to armor class while wielding a melee weapon in each hand but you cannot dual wield heavy weapons so dual wielder is going to be a good choice for him because he's got those two blades big papa smurf dropping five living gift subs big papa smurf it's wonderful to see you as well thank you so much big papa smurf is gifting to phantom alive 42 birdie leah fd uh nomad robinson and then uh jaina solo fell thank you so much or jaina solo fell i really appreciate you thank you so much um, great webmaster. 
lightly armored so you get an increased dexterity with better light armor proficiency do we already have that i wonder character features um damn i do wish you could just see your character sheet here or can i can i press c i can't that's kind of insane um lucky is good you gain three luck points you can use to gain advantage on attack rolls ability checks or saving throws to make uh, an enemy reroll or to make an enemy reroll their attack so that's always going to be awesome um also mage slayer if someone casts a spell and he's next to it this is like the magic version of um sentinel so that's really good um let's see here mobile movement speed increases um and you can sneak away um charisma increases you can play a uh, things a weapon master gain we proficiency with four weapons and you can also be dexterous i mean that's always good but we can save that um skilled extra skills sharpshooter sentinel savage attacker you make weapon attacks you you roll your damage die dice twice and use the highest result so he's always going to do more damage for savage attacker okay so for me it's going to be between lucky it's going to be a uh, savage attacker or honestly dual wielder is kind of good like we can have him use non-light weapons we can have him use like medium swords um that kind of feels like the move to me and also we can always undo this so i kind of think that's maybe maybe the move two of appears yeah that's kind of what i'm thinking for our sneaky sneaky boy plus one armor class while wielding and then uh you gain plus one but yeah plus one armor class <sighs> Does the sneak attack work with dual wielder though? Doesn't it? Doesn't it uh, work? If not, that's a big deal breaker. But does it work? With it does, says Zebarus. Okay, I think that's maybe a good move for savage attacker. Because <sighs> honestly, doing better weapon attack rolls with daggers is gonna maybe even be better than the little bit of boost that we might get from a rapier. Let's do savage attacker for now. I think that's the move. All right, let's go. Savage attacker. Boom. Harlock, we just got you and you're so strong. Barbarian, level four. New feat available. Again, a new feat. Um, I mean, also savage attacker would be great for her. Or, ooh, great weapons master is such a good one for her. Critical hit with a melee weapon attack. You can do another melee weapon attack as a bonus action, and you can go kind of nuts with it. Um, oh, God, she's so good. Or honestly, Savage Attacker, we're just always doing better damage. Kind of feels pretty good. Kind of feels pretty good. Um, I say, honestly, Savage Attacker is kind of great. It's kind of great for anyone who's melee. Yeah, she's just going to do more weapon. There's also... Great Weapon Master is what I usually take for my fighters in my own games as well. I guess having her, like, Rage and go Berserker mode. Yeah, let's go. Great Weapon Master. We can just change it up. Big Papa Smurf, thank you again for that. Um, and then finally, my boy, the Druid, Damien the Damien Haas. We need to get him cooler armor. This looks stupid. <laughs> oh, we can diff we can do different wild shapes now. What the hell is a deep rotha? Rotha. Assume the shape of a deep rotha that casts dancing lights and charges at its enemies. The deep rotha. So I guess this is some kind of like satyr, it looks like, or a giant raven. Ooh, that's awesome. We can finally be a bird. That's cool. Sorry for burping. That was rough. Gaining a cantrip. Resistance, make the target more resi resistant to spell effects and conditions. You bonus for saving throws. Produce flame, which is fine, but we can kind of do that with a candle anyway. Poison spray is fine, but we also have weapons. And then shillelagh, which has better damage on our um, just regular roll attack. And resistance would be an action. I'd say shillelagh. That's pretty cool. And then a feat for our boy. Oh, this is awesome. So let's think about this. A feat for our um, for our druid. I would want a feat that increases wisdom by chance. Because for druids, you cast everything with wisdom, right? So actually, maybe for him, 
maybe for him, I just increase uh, the ability scores. That actually might be the move because having stronger wisdom is gonna is gonna boost us for kind of everything. So one to wisdom, right? And now we have a plus four to wisdom checks. And then um, let's see, dex dexterity. I'm gonna do wisdom again. I want to max out our wisdom. Let's do that. We're gonna be real wise, unless something else gives us wisdom here. Um, Warcaster, get advantage on saving throws to maintain. Um, Warcaster is pretty good. Spell sniper, you can roll. You have twice. You're twice as lucky to do. Or you're twice as able to do a critical hit. Um, skilled, status attacker, sharpshooter, resilient, uh, performer, moderately armored, mobile. Um, magic initiates. Um, you can learn two more cantrips from. Ooh, wait a minute. We could learn cleric spells. That's kind of cool. Elemental adept. Yeah, durable dungeon del dungeon delver. What about Lucky? Lucky is cool. I just kind of want to do something more direct. Um, Let's see what cleric stuff looks like. Yeah, let's see what the cleric spells look like. Thaumaturgy, uh, who cares? Produce flame, uh, who cares? So that's not even really worth it. And then cleric spells. I don't need spells. All right, we're going to go either Lucky or... I'm just going to boost my ability. I'm just going to boost my ability. That's going to help me a lot. We're going to go full wisdom. Let's be the wisest possible boy. If you learn bard spells, you can use that one music thing you have. Yeah, it's true. But bards use um, charisma to cast. And we have very low charisma. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. All right, let's go. Ability score improvement. We did it. Saving. Um, now let's uh, let's go battling. Because we do need to go find Halson. Who is up here, I guess. Okay, that's going to be a whole situation, huh? Um, Momad Zay is dropping six, six, six bucks, bucks, bucks. Thank you very much, Momad Zay. Appreciate you. Saying hello, Damien. Hope all is well. So glad to hear about all the success you've had over the years. Uh, may I ask, what's the shot you take? I'm also allergic to the sun and I get hives. I'll talk to my doctor about it. Take care. All the best, friendo, Muhammad. Um, well, Muhammad, thank you very much uh, for uh, being so sweet and supportive about all the different things I've had going on throughout the years. Um, I feel very lucky and happy. This is the, the coolest I've ever felt career-wise, and I hope I get to continue it on. Um, I've been a busy boy, and it's very difficult balancing everything, but I definitely want to continue balancing as best I can. Um, so thank you. I really do appreciate that. Um, what is the name of the shot? So it is called Zolair. X-O-L-A-I-R. It is something that generally, even if you have insurance, but I don't, if I remember correctly, you're not in America. You talked to us a long time ago. But anyway, if I remember correctly, um, you're not in America, so I don't know what insurance is like elsewhere. But um, even if you have insurance, um, you very much have to get permission from a doctor because it's like a category four or whatever medicine where like they really have to like approve you. And um, even if they do, like you have to like, have like a letter of recommendation basically to your insurance where it's like, no, trust me, he really needs it. Um, but I'm not exactly allergic to the sun i have what is known as chronic urticaria basically uh there are a few different factors at play but i have the possibility of just breaking out in hives is that a, is that a shiny down there it's like there's a shiny down there somewhere um i have the ability to just like break out in hives sometimes uh stress can be a factor certain foods can be or a lot of sun exposure um to the best of my knowledge it has to do with a um an illness i had in my early 20s when um ooh, ooh brain magic um where uh it left an antibody in my in my body um after that illness was resolved um yeah, and that makes me very prone to it obey my command oh, that's not good the voice is irresistible Ooh, that you voice. recognize Ooh, baby. the overwhelming authority that you've used on others mm -hmm. only infinitely stronger mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your vision clouds leaving you in a dark featureless shadowscape well, i don't love Nothingness that he did in that every direction then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command Ooh. a handsome younger man with a quick easy smile and a pale young woman with even paler eyes these are my chosen interesting they speak for me Aid their search for the weapon, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. 
You know what vibe this is giving me? A new hand the touches the beacon. As a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. Oh. Interesting. So Shadowheart was holding onto this, and I do feel bad that we collected it because Shadowheart left? My God, it's even a shiny, like, geometric thing that is there. The voice is quelled. The artifact's doing. That voice, those visions. What just happened? No answer presents itself. The artifact is dormant. The voice and visions are gone. Damn, we've lost our chance. Yeah, it does look like a D20, huh? Um, so what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, um, Sword AF Episode 4 comes out tomorrow. Uh, again, this is our um, most... This is the last one of the like our early batches before the show even premiered. So um, everything after this is like looking crazy cool. Great. And Episode 4 is good too, but I'm just like, bear with us. Because this is our last time of like, oh, we're learning, we're learning. And then after that is like, wee. Ooh, goodies behind a waterfall. I've played video games before. We're going to do this for sure. Um, I know I need to go to that goblin camp, but I really do want to see what I'm able to do down here. It's a shame we don't have Featherfall, which is a spell that would allow us to jump down there without taking damage. I wonder if there's a different way to get down safely. Let's go around here and see. Is this also a goblin camp? See, we didn't ever um, explore this side of the village either. There's got to be something. Here. Oh, more goblins. Okay. Okay. And again, I wonder if we're able to, like, talk to them at all. Ooh, is that an actual human head? No, it's a statue head. I was like, uh-oh. Um, okay, okay. So we definitely can't get down there normal ways right now. Um, but there is a little climbable area, so we would have... Let's, let's work in reverse here. We go here, we go here, we go here, down through here. Um, we would have to go down through here. So there is a way down and around through this village. Oh, that's a guy. That's Volo. Oh, man. We got to rescue Volo. That dude kind of sucks. All right. Well, Starion, sneaky boy. You're up, my guy. Unless we're going to talk to them. It, they're level two. It looks like we can talk to them. And honestly, even if we don't get sneak attack after this, we're going to be fine. Um, we're going to be totally fine. Everything's going to be great. Um, um, 90 experience for finding this area. Interesting. So let's dip your weapon into this here. Oh, I kind of wanted to switch to this. Um, yeah, let's dip your weapon in, in this now, too. There we go. Hey man, we talk, Grat the Trader? What are you thinking? Oh, we can actually just trade with them and sell. That's kind of sick. Um, quite the trove. How'd you get your hands on all this? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Nicked him from jail, didn't I? Uh, let me see what you have. Um, all right, so what do you got? What do you got, my guy? Hide armor plus two. That's actually really good. Plus dexterity checks? It's kind of great. I mean, that would be, um, Swirishy shoes. Um, it's kind of great for our um, our, our druid guy here. Pale green dye. I mean that kind of feels good for our um, our druid as well. Well, let's let's sell some stuff first. What do we not need? These intestines. This hammer. These robes. A quill. A Peter quill. Tongs. 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 Um, this scale mail, I'm hesitant to sell right now because we don't know about it yet, but this longsword, this longsword, this scimitar, short bow, spear, water staff. Man, I do wish this man's would shut up. Um, steel forge sword, once again, we don't need a short sword, which is unfortunate because it, it looks pretty valuable. Um, hide armor plus two, that's kind of most of our, most of our money. I guess we'll just get like one green die for fun right now. One green die. Um, trade. And it gives us seven monies. Um, cool. Asterion, can you use short swords? Yeah. Right? Okay, hold on. It's light and finesse. Hold up, hold up. Get moving. I've got other customers. 
Um, two to eight versus what's the other one? Five through ten. Why was I not using that? That's kind of wild. Um, okay, great. Um, all right. Well, then now we'll sell the other weapon. That's cool. Um, I want also this guy to talk to the trader. Yeah. Let me see what you have. All right, time to sell. Oh, look at all this m stuff we're about to make money off of. Damn. Damn. We really do be rich now, huh? Everyone laughed at us. They said we would never be extremely rich, but look at us now. Look at me now. I'm getting paper. Um, three rotten tomatoes. Yeah, of course. I'll sell you those rotten tomatoes. I don't even need them, dog. Um, three milk cans. Yes, excellent. Wonderful. Isn't that nice? Um, what else do I not need? This guy do be chatting. Huh. The realm recording above. I guess we can just sell all these books. Full house ledger. Yeah, we don't need that. Or to release. Law of things. Uh, pleasurable. Di yeah, law of things. Um, cool. Uh, trade with me, you fool. And then what's what's my armor? So armor class 13. This is armor class 14. So that would be better. Uh, plus one to dexterity saving throws and checks. And then nature plus one. This plus one to dexterity saving throws and checks. And then plus one to init. Oh, it'll encumber me. Oh, dear. Okay, well, I can't, I can't deal with that, then. No way. Weird. Okay, there we go. Does someone encumber me? Oh, now I can afford to hold on to it. What am I holding that's so heavy, then? This will encumber me just by having five uh, weight? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, these are 3.8 each, and I have 19 of them. Well, there we go. Okay. Well, I guess we should split those up then. Yup, there we go. Um, Oops. <laughs> camp supplies. Oh, yeah, that's great. That makes sense, too. Um, So I guess I could send those to camp. My God. How absolutely silly of me. Um, split item into nine. Split that item into five. And now we're going to go this. Um, you get nine thieves tools, Astarian. You get five of them, Lazel, just for fun. And you get five of them. Oh, that that's Lazel. Sorry, Carla. Uh, the yelling is a little overstimulating. I'm sorry. I'll deal with it in a second. I know it's super obnoxious. It's just kind of is what it is. Um, I think I should buy this armor, y'all. Let me see what you have. Um, or the Swearsy shoes. I hate this guy. I want him to shut up so bad. I really do. Um, plus one, all these things. I think I think I kind of got to. It gives me an extra armor. I mean, that's just that's just good, you know. I really want to uh, murder this man. So bad. I really do. Like, is he talking to us? All right. Get moving. I just made your house payment, dog. Um, okay. Give me that armor on. Nice. Oh, look at that fancy armor there. So very fancy. And now I'd like to use my, um... Dude, this guy absolutely has to shut up very soon. Um, where is our die that we just ordered? Uh, sort by, uh, latest we not just order oh um we didn't buy it this guy did green die there we go i'm going to kill him so much i'm going to kill him and i'm going to relish the whole thing armor class 18 dude we are the tankiest right now wild combine boom look at that pretty die look at that let us go beautiful pale green all right let's talk to him because i can't we gotta talk to him before everyone else they love it they all love it for him super cool that they do oh he's telling stories about awesome goblins i miss the arguing couple yeah i feel that for sure yeah, I like that story. <laughs> um, Ragulus and Galit. I'm I'm going to like actually call him out on his BS. I'm like, great, fight a bunch of goblins. Come 
Can you turn it? Huh. Quite so. Now, if you'll excuse me. <coughs> Mischief. Uh, draw rags, Lynn. Uh, draw rags, Lynn. Um, uh, Can I throw um, rotten tomatoes at him? Oh, I just I, sold all my rotten tomatoes. That draw sucks. Rags, um, um, tumptuous. Uh, draw rags, Lynn. Uh, Dude, you shut up, please. I hate this. Wait, wait. Draw rags, Lynn. We play. We. Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Yes, back to your cage, pigeon. But we would never cage a real pigeon. Of course, um, great. I guess we should have talked to him first because otherwise we wouldn't have had to listen to all that stuff. Um, sick. Awesome. Cool. Um, great. Let's talk to other people like a warrior and Crolia. Someone's, I guess, actually been puking in the barrel, probably. Well, now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? All that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? Dungeons? This, Dragons? This is chicken chasing. What's up? <laughs> Not tell you what. Gun to my head, told me to name a thousand things that they probably would have had me do here. Not the one I thought. Not the one I thought. Uh, okay. Um, chicken chasing. Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. I wonder Try if I can wild down, shape, because if I, I get to be like a wolf, I'm fine. Sound easy. It ain't. Better contenders than you have been breasted by the bird. <laughs> Seems easy enough. <sighs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pay? I'm gonna save, but yes. I claim down with some coin. I do. <laughs> sure, I'll place it there. We got the coin. We got the challenger. Now we just need the. Coin. Hey, Marissa explains nothing. Dropping five flaming gift We're subs. Thank you very much, Marissa explains nothing. Appreciate you gifting to uh, Gitchami, um, jo Joseph Sane, ZR50. Clary Leo and then 42 Mr. Wright. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Um, oh, Clary Leo's dropping a thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. And also, Baker dropped 25 flipping bucks earlier, you generous mother goose. Thank you, Baker. Saying, love the voices. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're going to have a grand old time here if you like silly, goofy voices. Um, thank you. I w yeah, I do wonder if I can wild shape. Um, but, Baker, thank you so much. What you waiting for? Shimmy under the starting mark. Swift is my feet. Wonder if that, where is that? Where's the starting mark? What you waiting for? Do I get to? I, I'm curious. I'm gonna try wild shaping. If they're mad about it, then fine. But I think. Um, hold on. What's? Um, what's faster? Is there anything that's quick? Um, bird blinds enemies. Uh, dancing lights and charges. Um, I would say. My guess would be wolf, but I'm. I guess. I guess I'm just gonna try it like this. Where's the starting mark? Where? What are you waiting for? I don't know where it is. Where is that? I don't know. Oh, I gotta, I just, I gotta just get it? Oh, well then. The chicken's head bobs, eyes darting around at the leering goblin faces. She's terrified. Shoo her toward the post. Yeah, I'm not gonna urge her to attack them. That would spell death for that chicken. Urge her toward the post. Add bonus with my guidance. It's only a difficulty class 10, so that's not bad. Dog, we did it. Ooh, buddy. Oh, buddy, look at me go. Success. All right, chicken. Jason toward the post. Oh, that was it? You just have to chase them. You have to. Oh, it's herding. I thought it'd be like a race. You're literally herding the chicken. All right, Krilla. Well, looky here. <laughs> Seems like you know Thank your you again, way Baker. around the course. That. And over my winnings. Pardon? You're what? 
think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken That's the chase. most goblin BS goblin rules. stuff I ever heard As in my life. Glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um, oh, intimidation. But if I fail intimidation, then I'm in trouble. Or plus four from wisdom, plus one d four. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna do the illithid wisdom. So this is the, the bug that's in our brain, right? And I try not to use that too much on, on allies because I think it's a little weird to go into someone's brain when she's like, I'm stealing your mommy. <laughs> You're gonna be like, and just make her brain explode. And I'm fine with that. Um, oh, difficulty class two. So unless we roll a nat one, it's happened a lot. We'll be fine. Nine, oh, that's where we roll our 19. There you go. 27. Her brain just bursts into flame. Nice. You're a, you're a true soul. Mm. Yeah, it were only a bit of fun. All yours. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. Oh no! It's taking something you'll never get back. I wonder if using just, that just a bit brain of power no, gives it me. strength, and I'm I'm becoming more of the mind flayer each time. That would make a lot of sense, given what they literally just said. Um, and I did it for 30 gold, damn. Um, everybody, please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to some new subscribers. We got a par easy. Ton of Dan's gifted by Tiarnik GACP. Thank you very much for doing that. We got uh, Chris Yardi, 2% two per, two rice milk. Uh, thank you very much. Welcome, y'all. Um, yeah, that does seem to probably be the case to me. Um, but thanks to all new subscribers. Um, Tracker, Klaga. Enjoying the view. Enjoying the view. Looking tasty the in these new breaches, ain't I? Um, they look quite fetching on you. Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Oh. Do you make a habit of eating dwarves? Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> He's already dead. Ain't getting any deader. Did he have anything else on him? I don't know was already stripped down to his britches when I got my hands on him. Mm. I had a couple of coins in the pockets and some daft poem. Poem? Oh, it's probably going to be a location of a treasure. I'm curious about that poem. I love poetry. Can I see? Sure you can. But I looks all you We also got Peachy it. dropping three flipping dollars. Thank you very much, Peachy. I, I appreciate you. This little Saying, Hi, Damien. Uh, I actually was just wondering if you have an updated you anime list anywhere. Sorry if this is weird. Love your streams. Words for a pretty penny. So, um, the mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illicit power, okay? Is so you use it once per rest. Um, rest. so I don't actually have an anime list other than the one in the Discord of the ones that I've watched, and it is not the most up to date, to be honest with you. But that being said, I haven't had a whole lot of time to watch anime lately, um, because I've been a very busy lad. Um, but pretty soon, hopefully, I'll have some time to watch some, and then I'll update it. Five, oh, it could be a ten, it, we could get there. Ah, only got us to eight. Let's, um... I don't want to see what that poem is. Oh, we can't... That's too bad. What Someone else could. Pay up. And it's yours. Wait, how much does it cost? Wolf's poem. Um, all right. 240. Can't do that. Oh, if you ain't win. But, you know who does love talking to you right now? Cracker Claga. Starion with all of his charisma. Enjoying the view. Um, looks good on you. Uh, what else did he have? Poetry. Can I see it? I'd love that. Um, persuasion. Authority. I can't boost with guidance. Weird. Hey, there we go. Nice. I'm um, Thank you very much for the tip. We got a hundred bits from Shadow Banshee. Six six six. Thank you very much, Shadow Banshee. Appreciate you. Um. Very nice of you. All right, success. Really? Oh, shit. You might as well use it as bulk roll then. I'll get back to tending the meat. That's a dead uh, person on the ground there. Um, let's view this poem. See what kind of goodies uh, come from it. Wolf's poem. The son of Selene fell here in the dark below. And we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. Notice scrawled in the margins. Found the door under the temple. I think the moon's turned, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. Ah, so there will be a puzzle later. So find the night song. Okay, cool. Man, I'm glad we went in here. There's all kinds of goodies. 
There's all kinds of goodies in these here parts. Um, also needs to group back up here. Oh, that's why we couldn't um do that thing. Um, devout. Um, because he was not uh with the group. Drinks going straight through me. The only cure is drinking more as fast as you can. That's the plan. Gonna make him pass out. Here's to them we nicked it off. Down one mug of ale for every throat we cut. Da, 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 da. <laughs> God, they must have had to do so much uh, cough drops after this. Uh, Warrior Sul, I think we already spoke with. Warlock Gurk. That's my favorite warlock, Grab dude. A drink before you see the priestess, Maka. The brandy stings, Sammy Popper. Um. You let her burn you. Why? Mark the absolute idiot. Shows our devotion to her. Ranger. Makes it easier to decide who we I wonder how many voice actors from um, so Shadow of Mordor one, eh? worked on this game. Probably a lot. That's my Start by Merg. Um, Tracker Pulley. Good for you. Bottoms up. Yeah, yeah we're going to get them good and, and schwasty that we can rob their stuff later probably um oh there's a hobgoblin I didn't think we could talk to hobgoblins in this game so hobgoblins y'all are a more um a more like oh there's a sigil right there um more like two-legged form of god not two-legged like what would i say about a hobgoblin they're more intelligent than goblins but they also find themselves like at the beck and call of goblins? I don't know. It's a whole situation. I don't always get it. Okay, I guess we can talk to these folks who seem kind of important. Listen to Crusher. Listen to him. Yeah, we'll talk to Crusher and he's slightly drunk. Not the best. Think you rule the world just because you got a scary face. Ah! Hello. Oh, glow. A little rude. You feel nothing in response. Your illicit power is beyond reach. I until know. You rest. I understand. I gotta be sleepy. Um. Um. A lot of assumptions here. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Or with goblins, you do have to be a little bit brusque. I don't just think so. It's a fact. You're nothing but the dirt beneath my feet. But he's got a look at right there. He's got a toe ring. You understand the amount of wealth. You need in the goblin world to have a toe ring. I'm gonna teach him with a little bit of a little respect. Everyone says that, and then they spit our faces. But no more. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. Real normal thing to say, my guy. You um, better learn your place. Mm. Go on. Kiss more foot. Oh, or so they I'll had the toe ring for a reason. Face. End him or leave him. Don't you yeah, Lazel would lose respect suck. for me. I don't think I can do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, ooh. You can't be serious and then intimidation. We'll try you can't be serious first. You can't be serious. Do I need to rip your ear shells off? You heard me. I wonder if there's sleight of hand to like take that <laughs> from him. Um, how about you kiss my feet instead or attack? I'd sooner spit in your face is not nice, but I feel like intimidation is our best bet. Let's let's try it. Oh, difficulty 15. That sucks. Oh, I wish any other character were doing this. Let's try it. Intimidation. Let's go. Um, we got particular list dropping $10. Thank you very much, particular list. Saying, hi, Damien. I just want to say I could never get into D&D, but your Sword AF series in this playthrough has made it so fun. Yes, I love my happy marriage. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Um, and I'm also so glad that you're enjoying D&D. That's great. I think D&D is um, really whatever you want it to be. You know, it's just a sort of a structure for playing make-believe with your friends. So if you couldn't enjoy it before, like, I'm glad you're enjoying it now because it really is just sort of, it's whatever. It's whatever. So let's try this. I hate D&D now. Um, well, that wasn't successful. We didn't do it, and usually if you try to intimidate and it fails, that's not great. And I sure wish you could, we could use Lazel or anybody else. <laughs> you on your teeth, Noctin. You ain't got nothing on me. 
So kiss my foot. No, I don't want to. Um. Oh, I can just detect thoughts again. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. Why not? It's not illithid. It's detect thoughts. So it is different, I think. Okay, well, we did that one, baby. That's nice. I don't know if that's the brain worm or not. Continue. I'll be next in line to become a true soul. Then nobody can stop me. Ooh, we know his insecurity. He wants to be a true a true soul. Um. I know you're planning to take over. I wonder what your boss will think of that. What? Oh, how did you? Oh, Nonny. Fine. Oh, oh. Lazell approves. A star and approves. Yeah, baby. We love it. We love to see it. Oh, What's a true soul? So, Ellen Puff, what I'm gathering, they never Arrogant fully explain swine. it. But you know, these goblins have had like the mark on their eye, and you're like, you see the mark. You notice this is happening. You know, yada, yada, yada. I think those are people who have been blessed and chosen by their new goddess or their, their priestess or whatever. I think that's the thing. So, um, see, sure seems like it. Um, wait, is this the way to go to, um, yes, this is the way I think to go to that outside area we were looking at. That was pretty sick. Wooden chest. Oh, they don't have a problem with me taking this wooden chest. Okay. Sure. Oh, it's locked, though. Starion, you're up, buddy. Um, or we could always just pick it up again, which is just so funny. I'm going to actually save before we open it up. Open lock. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, lock pick. There we go. Let's crack it in. Add bonus with guidance. Unless we roll an at one, we're going to be fine. A two would literally get us there. Woo! There we go. I love that. I love that. Opened up. Oh, 31 gold. Well, that's not worth the thieves tools that we use. That's too bad. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You tell him, boss. I uh, mean now. That is if I'm. Brawler Rancer? Okay. So let's go down and see what that special little area behind the waterfall was. That's what I mean by this game is a little slow, but like in a good way. Like, see, it? remember how long it was when we saw that waterfall and we just kept trying to make our way over there and now we're kind of there, but like it took that long. Like, it's okay that it takes that long, but it sure does. I think you keep them if you succeed. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Cool. I thought there was something down here that was shiny, but I guess it was just, um... I guess it was just, um... Oh, I guess it didn't have to... Oh. Um... Oh, I can, I can go in the water, too. All right, well, Ragged Rock, let's go. Reception successful. Oh, there's a trap. Ooh, and it's literally right there. Well, I'm glad we found it. Y'all remember last time that I just walked right into a trap? So, I think Astarian who goes up here now could undo this here trap. this arm come on my sneaky lad guidance 15 so we do need to roll at least a 7 oh that's rough god I hope this doesn't kill us oh wait no we're good oh amazing nice well, hells yeah, y'all. We're doing it. Carlock almost jumped the trap. I did see that. Very scary. Very scary. Face. Nice. All about the face. Um, Astarian, once again, we're going to need your, your expertise, my guy. Difficulty class 10. Plus guidance. Let's go. Oh, critical success. Natural 20. The chest flies clean open. And another great axe plus one. I feel so bad, Carlock. We already had one for you. What a shame. Unless this one's better, but I can't imagine it is. Wait, is there a world where Carlock can dual wield great axes? Uh, one to twelve. Five, six, eight, hold on. Uh, one to 
516, 516, weapon enchantment plus one, weapon enchantment plus one. All the items still need to be... Yeah, I don't think she can dual wield a two-handed weapon. Do you get a bonus for a natural 20? Um, I don't think... Oh, you do need the dual wielder feet. Ah, crap. But I don't think you can dual wield heavy weapons either way. Um, with that. But anyway, um, so generally with a natural 20, yes, you do. You would get a bonus. Um, but not when you're opening a chest. Like, I don't know what it would do for the chest. Like, you can't have more items in the chest. You know what I mean? Um, all right. To the goblin camp, we go. Um... I guess we got lots to do here, huh? I still want to rescue... Damn, I still want to rescue uh, Halson. Maybe we don't do that this... Oh, wait. Would Halson be in the goblin camp? Rescue Volo. Did I miss my opportunity to save Halson? Where is that? Hidden cache. Investigate Kaga. Investigate the swamp. Wait, where's the Halson rescue quest? Did I miss that? Did I take too long? No, you did not miss that. Okay. Search the cellar, find a cellar. Interesting. I wonder if I should just do the goblin camp right now, man. Also, I don't know anything about the owl bear cave, and I don't want to miss the baby owl bear. I do know that's a thing. And I don't want to generally ask for um backseat gaming, but I do want to know about the 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 bat specifically. Um Am I about to miss the owl? It's in the goblin camp? Oh, okay. Cool. Well, the goblin camp is then... I mean, that's right here, so I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. I'm playing the feud. Um, I wonder if I can go through the heavy oak doors. It's by the village. You gotta do the owl... Oh, you gotta do the owl bear cave before the goblin camp, says Demonacho? That's good to know. We were about to screw things up. Uh, Demonacho, where's the owl bear cave? Because I don't want to miss that. Again, don't generally... Don't generally want to do backseat gaming but i've, I've kind of got to know because i don't want to miss that for us it could be awesome check your journal it isn't in the camp if you don't visit the cave first river by the village which village is this though lighted village um you know what i'm just gonna look it up owlbear cave because there's so many places it could go um owlbear the owlbear cave Oop. Is part of the chicken race you already did? Aw, oh, man. Tell me I didn't miss that. Please. Where is the owl bear cave? Where are you? Um, images. Under the bridge at the Blighted Village. Okay, under the bridge. There we go. That's the move. So, here. Sometimes I feel like... Unless it's over here. Is it the Blighted Village cave to the west or to the east? West. East. West. East, north of the Blighted Village. Oh, okay. To the right of the bridge. Oh, like here. Okay. East. I thought you said east. Um, okay, so it is east. Everybody else is saying east, not north. Great. Um, here's someone we didn't miss it. Everyone says, no, not there. No, what do you mean? In that dark area. Oh, so like here. Like here. Um, you know, I'm just gonna walk along the river anyway. We're just gonna go explore that area. That's, that's what we're gonna do. Well, it ends not as bad as it could have. Yes, exactly that. Okay. To the river we go to. Ooh, hunter staff. But there's nothing. Fancy, fancy. Fancy a little bit of nothing. Um, so we need to go down. Um, and maybe the owl bear cave would be around two. Or two. Dark three. It'll be some that, right? Um, alright. So, let's go down here. The wisp. The leather. Oh, leather blue. Oh, and there's this coffin. I wonder if a starion can, um, interact with it. Wooden spoon. Not a steak. Wooden spoon. Open coffin. Examine open coffin. Oh, Astarian doesn't have any flavor text with that? That's interesting. Sublimated Looking ahead. Okay, so we don't um oop. What are we gonna do, right? Oh. Oh, there are I people. Novice of the absolute. These three people like the goblin 
shit. Okay, let's talk to them, I guess. You're a true soul. You oh, they're die. devotees of uh, the Goblin God. Us. That's really bizarre. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. The mark oh. glows, but you feel nothing in response. It's been marked by the Absolute Your as well. Interesting. Power is beyond reach until you rest. Um, medicine. His wound. Oh, so we actually. I have a good medicine check here because I have a uh, wisdom. So, um, wounds look deep. Might be able to help. Um, and we're gonna add our guidance here. So we actually have a pretty good chance of getting this to work. Seventy-five percent, at least. Oh, and that one. No. No. Who? Brother, your sword. Wait. Trying to fight the me. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Um. Um. Try to block him out. Useless. Your minds intertwine. Oh, he's also you got. Oh, well, he's got the mark of the absolute. Wait, is the absolute Andrea. related you to the mind slayers? Maybe. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He. He's a true soul. Mind him. He will. Here. He. He. Mass princess metal. Yeah. He's with the absolute now. No, I think you, you met the absolute and she marked you, you and now the you just dead. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Uh -huh. Do you uh -huh. have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Um So perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for the druid house. I don't know any druids. Well, I'm one. What happened to your brother, exactly? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An owl an bear, you one. say? We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I mm. told Edwin not real to look Real sad, in real cave. sad. It Where's my owl bear? Oil bear tracks. Um... Uh... These fugitives... Tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. Oh, yeah. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Um, explain this Absolute to me. What? Are you... Oh, are this you is going to give me away as not being a true soul. is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Cool. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. Mm -hmm. A true soul like you has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time mm -hmm. comes, yes, you should give the true money. souls, you will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. Astarion. <laughs> um, all right. Um, you have more to learn of our faith, novice. All right, yeah, we're going to lie I'm about sorry. that. True soul, I only repeated what I thought I knew. No, you didn't do any backflips. The That's the law of still God. Has a great deal to teach me. Um, I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. Um, no, no, I'm not giving myself away as the one that the um absolute wants to kill. I'm gonna say you forget the owl bear. You're still alive, so go. Well, and and just leave it. Oh, is he coming back? I suppose. I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find Aye, a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Yeah, I was gonna say. Persephoroth, one of my dearest friends. Sephi is here to watch stream. Um, Y'all, my friend Sephi is here. Thank you so much for joining. Um, we are playing Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, Sephi and I have many things in common, but this one is a specific one. Uh, we're both extremely addicted to this game. Thanks for popping in, Sephi. Y'all definitely show Sephi some love, please. Um, and in addition, hi, Sephi. Thanks for being here. It calls to you. If you're new here, hi. I'm Damien. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I'm a voice actor. I'm a Twitch streamer. And I'm also on the YouTube channel, Smosh. Um, it's kind of a problem. I know. Oh. 
Oh. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience Bruh. could nourish you. Bruh. Strengthen you. Bruh. Um... The tadpole is toying with you. Resist it or force your mind shut. You will not be interested in the prayer. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a little wisdom one here. We've got better wisdom situation. We're both playing tiefling casters. I mean, of course. We already rolled a natural one, so there's no way it's going to happen now. Give me that sweet, sweet three. Just kidding. For the love of God, do better. Give me a seven or an eight at least. Come on. You son of a bastard. It could be four. No, it's not. Ah. Ah, the love of God. Um, no inspiration? No <laughs> inspiration. No use. Compulsion takes over. Mm. Your actions are no longer your own. He's just too handsome. I do with me. Okay, that's pretty rough. Okay. Yup, that's uh, in my bottom three things I've ever seen. I don't want that. In the pocket? Just like that? Abandon their hosts as soon as they need to. Parasites. That's pretty rough. Oh, he's got a bunch of sauce sausages. Why? Why do you have so many sausages? Excuse me, mister. Excuse me, mister. Why do you have so many sausages? You know what? I've got an idea. Carlock. Pick him up. Nice. Um, great. So, um, because I, because I know, um, he had to fight those owl bears. Um, I think they would probably like an offering. Um, they also talked about owl bear tracks. So now I'm curious, where is those owls bears? Where's is them's owls bears? I was wondering. Um, if you are new here, I generally ask for no backseat gaming. And uh, I was about to ask where I was going. Um, but in reality, I think I know now. I think this is probably the owl bear situation. Unless it's not, no, we've been here and this place sucks. We have been here and this place sucks. We have been here and this place sucks. And now we're gonna go. Hey, we got Miss Mac Dad raiding as well. Such a raidful night. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. And Sefi, thanks again for trusting me with your community. Um, the cave on the Helgen. Oh, this quest almost made me restart. Ask me about it later. Yeah, I did just get to the goblin village and people were like, it might be too late. So I don't know. Oh, that's a, that's a cave if I've ever seen one. Um, well, thanks for the, thanks for the raid raiders. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate you. Um, we do have Demo Nacho drop in. Six, 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 box, box, box. Thank you very much for Demo Nacho saying, hi, Damien. Last week was very busy. So the plan for this one is to just chill. Um, although I still have to work very much looking forward to sort AF tomorrow. Have a good stream. Thank you so much. If you are new here, um, I do have a D and D show on the YouTube channel. Smosh episode four oh, appears tomorrow. Um, sleep well, Sefi. You deserve some rest. Treat yourself kindly. Please get some proper rest and be very sweet to yourself. Um, actually, what I'll do here is, uh, speak with animals casting on myself. So if I need to talk to an owl there, I can. And that'll be nice for me. The Owl Bear Nest by Alfred Lord Tennyson. God, if everyone's dead, I'm gonna be so mad, you guys. I'm gonna be so mad, dude. There's dead little bears. I'm gonna be so mad, bro. Um, okay. So down here. Ooh, okay. I'm definitely going around. Nope. I can go through here. Nice. Wait, what's with the purple? Is that a waypoint? No, no, it's not. Ooh, lots of goodies. Like Religion saloon, check. Okay, saloon. S saloon. Saloon. The shrine of saloon. Um, I kind of failed. By magic. There's no smashing this open. Sealed by magic. All right. So even if I can't open it. Okay, that doesn't doesn't work for me. Um. Take a look at this statue, shall we? Katsui. All right, statue of Saluna. Take a look at you. Anything around these parts? Except for success. Well, there's that. A prayer dedicated to Saluna, employing all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share in her bounty. I bet we have to pray. With the same symbol as the one in the chest. Well, gee whiz, how are we going to deal with this puzzle? Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's see. Hmm. Um. Where is my prayer scroll? Where's my gosh dang prayer scroll, Bobby? Um, the war between Salune and Char. That's not it. Um, damn. Recording is always rough in this. Um, what? I thought I picked it up. Or does it just say, can I, can now can I open it? Nope, sure can't. That sure did a lot of damage to me. Glug, glug. Um, well then what the, why can't I, there's no, where's the prayer book? You didn't pick it up? What do you mean I didn't pick it up? It was right there. I thought I did. Uh... Nope, you're sure right. You're sure right. I sure didn't pick up an ad to wears. Let's go. You only read it. Well, that that's enough to memorize a prayer. I've memorized every prayer I've ever read. Which is none. <laughs> um, got it. Tui, there we go. All right, now let's try this again after blowing myself to smithereens. Um, read. <laughs> Um, when the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. That's fine. Ooh, selenite right. Let's do it. What's, what's, what's up with this right, bro? Read it. This tome describes the ancient in initiation rites observed by some who worshipped the moon goddess, goddess Selune. When a youngster came of age, they'd be left to fend for that meat. Um, great. Well, I think we figured out everything we need here. Oh, wait. Candle. We want a candle. We need a candle. I can't, I can't pick it up. Come on, man. I can't pick up the candle. Oh, I guess I have to, like, undo the candle. And that, I can't can I throw it? Throw the candle over here, and then I can pick it up, maybe? Oh, it just breaks. That's actually awesome that that happened. I love that that happened. Um, cool. Then, <laughs> this is so goofy. That stench. Heavy storm. Did Albert pray, no doubt. Probably. You but. feel the quake of it. Heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming. I'm gonna the talk to him. It's fine. Zeref CZ, uh, I want a, a candle. So if you um, oh god, I'm oh no, I'm him right now. Oh god, no. I guess performance. Ah, oh, jeez. Um. <laughs> ah, that sucks. Um. I want candles because if you light them and put them on the ground, you can dip your weapons into them as though it were an actual fire. All right, man, you got this. I believe in you. I'm gonna miss him. Oh, yeah, he does do that. He does have this. Didn't he? Shrinks back. Feathers. Lazel disapproves? Well, I don't care what you think. He's being awesome. Um, okay, well, now we're gonna. Wait. Why was it a Starion when I was already my guy? Um, I can just talk to him too. Um, I mean, that's cool. That's cool that that worked and I'm I'm stoked about that for sure. But also like, to keep going. I want some goodies, man. I want to talk to this owl bear, man. Oh, oh wait, why fighting? No, hold up. I thought I could talk to him, dude. No, so what do I do then? Do I still get the owl bear cub if I murder these other people and not the owl bear cub? It's distressed. Yeah, I don't want to deal with it. So I don't get the owl bear cub if I murder its parents. Yes, maybe. No. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What's Don't hurt the baby. Yeah. This isn't This isn't the owl bear? I'm sorry. Eleanor Puff says this isn't oh this isn't you Alabear. Uh just kill the mom, don't touch the child. Well yeah, I mean I'm not gonna hurt that baby. I'm not a monster. I will absolutely uh shillelagh the hell out of this thing. It has 91 HP. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. For a second, I thought it would be a good idea to murder this thing. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Nope. DJ Hisoka drop in five living gifts up. It's been so long, DJ. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much uh, for gifting to Knox the Alchemist, Scriblib, uh, Tamer Lord 87, Wasp Apologist, and then Kitaro or Kitero. Thank you so much. Reloads his Ragnus Web. No, no, no. So um, here's the thing. Um, I think I'm just curious about people who have played this game before when I'm like, oh, is the owl bear gonna is it okay? So for people who have played this game, am I okay? To fight this owl bear, will I still become friends with the babo if I do right now? 
DJ, I'd say this game is worth it. You still get the alibi. Okay, great, 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 great. Thank you. I'd say it's very worth it. Um, but it, you know, it's not. I'm not the arbiter of all games. I lost the election again this year, but I think it's awesome. I love it. Um, reckless attack. Until your next turn, you have advantage on attack rolls. Uh, not enough movement. Um, so I can, but I can make it there. So I think, I think that I'd say that's enough movement. Come on, man, really? That's not enough movement for you? I can't lacerate this thing on his little toesy. Damn. Um, well then I guess. <laughs> I can't cleave this guy. I can cleave him. Yeah, because it's a, it's a, yeah. Dewey, 16 damage. Nice dog. Um, all right, and. I miss this. All right, I suppose I'm pretty cool. On the way. Way past cool. Um, sneak attack range. Um, yeah. Dewey, nice. Oh God, that's so much damage. Uh, cunning that action hide. Me. Yeah, let's go. Uh, intern. Nice. No! What did you do? Oh, what? No, no, what? Oh, I feel real bad now. Because that mom ain't happy. And I don't love that even a little bit. Um, What if as a treat, we gave it the body of the person we fought? They fought. Um, bonus action is okay. So I see you, you can jump now for bonus action to like not have to use up all your movement. Yeah, that makes me wait. I broke an egg. No. Oh, that's so sad. I had no idea, dude. I didn't know that. This make me so sad. All right, I guess I'll kill this one then. Oh, it, in order to disarm it, it has to have a weapon. Well, I guess that makes sense. All right. <laughs> Main end attack. All right. Well, that was really sad. I don't like that. Egg is just chilling there. Yeah, I hate that. Owlbear, no. Don't. Don't get in the battle. I don't want you to hurt yourself, little baby beans. Watch on my feet. Um, I guess you will also stop. Yeah, I don't want to do anything too crazy right now. How much else got left? 31. Eh, that's enough that it's worth it to do some damage. Oh, damn. Oh, I don't have enough movement speed for that. All right. Well, we're just going to do a normal um, main hand shillelagh attack on this guy. I don't have movement. I hate this. So silly. Um. Oh, no. That would also hit the baby, I think. Um. No. Nope. Not that. Um. I guess I'll do a laser blast on this friend. Owlbear on his butt. Nice. Got his butt, you silly butt. I got this. Um, all right. So now you are going to do a big old smithereens hit on this guy. Uh, reckless attack on smithereens. Yep, yep, yep. Oh God, so damaging. Uh, also gonna push it over there. Too heavy to, too heavy to shove. Are you kidding me? Um, well then, can I, can I uh, drop this guy on the ground? Edwin, uh, yeah, let's drop him. Here you go. Don't you like that? You wanted that, right? Jumping over here. Ooh. Owlbear Cub, do not react against the Owlbear Cub. Owlbear Cub is fine. We respect you, Owlbear Cub. You are okay. You're okay in our book. No damage here. Um, all right. Time for us to do another sneak range attack. We're gonna be just fine. Path's interrupted. No, well, I think a normal attack would work too. Mm. As long as it doesn't hurt the bad boy. Looks from you to his dead mother. Oh God! What the absolute hell? No! Wake, hungry. A single strike will end his suffering. What the hell? Oh, it's so sad. Hungry food. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. <laughs> what? Dog. Fighting chance now. No. That, Hold up. Just prolonged its misery. No. So we're gonna talk to you, and then I'm gonna try to feed it. Yes, to your presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. Oh no! I hate all of it. Um. Okay. 
I have a broken spear. Okay. Eat that. Um, can I feed this thing? Can I feed it food? So it doesn't have to eat his mama mama mama. Uh, I'm not gonna feed it a spicy. Can I feed it um to the owl bear cub? Um, no, just um. Okay, so it just so there's no way to just pick up food and feed it to someone like a pork loin, like a pork loin. Oh God, no. Um. Oh, the old father's embrace. That's actually awesome armor. Uh, just uh, undead creatures hit the way I receive damage. Okay. Oh, I feel so sad. Oh my God. Um, can I, do I just, what, what's with the owlbear eggs? Do I take them? Um, oh my God, they sell for so much. Do I take them? Um, again, for people who have played this game, is it a good idea to take them? Did you just do a murder? Yes and sell. Okay, got it. All right, great. Um, An all right. Owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Yeah, man, I think we just broke a biome. Um, it's all uh, saved on the ice. Damn, so the owl bear later, I guess, shows up at our camp. Okay. This is all very sad stuff here. Um, oh, we could have gone over here. Oh, look at all these sneaky areas we could have gone instead of murdering these babies. Uh, oh, God. Uh... Okay, this is not cool. I don't love that. You, Dame, you seem bummed? Yeah, Florian. Look, here's the deal. In a game like this, you gotta sort of like let yourself believe the things. You know what? Like, it matters that you won the war. It matters that you lost the war. And that's what makes it fun. You're like, you're letting yourself exist within this story. So given that, um, I wonder if there, there's gotta, gotta dig here. I wonder. I'm um, start digging. Can't target self. Yeah. I'm just like, I wonder if there is. Oh my god, there is! How many chests have I missed? Okay. What? How many chests have I missed? Seriously. That's wild to me, dude. Um, okay. On, give up now. We got Rage Father Muckers. Funny. Dropping 777, make a wish. Um, thank you so much, Rage Father Muckers. I appreciate you. Saying, please enjoy this gif of a kitten trying his darndest to game. That is all bleed purple. I don't know if I have the ability to see that. Very sweet of you to want to send that my way. And I'm going to pretend that I saw it because I do love kittens. Um, but thank you. Dang, I've missed so many since Max Ronnie. I guess. Yeah, I guess you can just dig wherever, huh? Which is cool. We like that. We love to see it. All right, well, at least we did the owl bear thing now, and now we can go to the goblin camp. And it's not weird, I guess. Um, okay, well, we did the whole thing. We destroyed a biome. We dropped the body of that dude. Hey, eviscerated goblin. That's my favorite type. Pickaxe. Nice. I wonder if there's pickaxe stuff against the wall, too. Like, you just hit it on stone. It's like, you found a garnet. Um, all right, let's see here. Ghost Town, he says, uh, let's see. Oh, there's a special, uh, spear two pieces thing. Um, generally, I'm like, eh, I don't want backseat gaming, but I guess it does, um, make sense because I probably wouldn't have done that. So, thank you. Uh, let's see. The head of a broken spear. And where was the other part, I guess? Um, shaft of a broken spear. Um, can I just, like, whoop, can I just, whoop? Nope. Um, combine with you. Okay, well, I guess I didn't know that I could, um, mess with items like that. That makes sense. All right, well, thanks for the heads up. Combine. Vision of the Absolute. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I could actually use that one. I don't even need Shillelagh, dog. Um, blind targets that fail a dexterity saving throw. Uh, deals an additional 2 to 12 piercing damage to certain creatures that sport multiple sets of eyes. I kind of love that. That's kind of great. I don't need Shillelagh. Um... That's actually really sick that that happened there. Um, watch this guide. I guess we can change that out later. One to eight or one to six. One to eight. Yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, cool. Let's go. Um, all right. To the goblin camp we go. God, has it already been three hours? <laughs> Just a quick three hours. How's about that? Um, 
realistically how are you supposed to know that though i mean it did it was like a piece of a spear and a piece of a spear and we haven't really seen anything like that before so like i can see the a to b but i also like i just didn't know that that was a thing until now oh it's separate open coffin with different wooden spoons that's really weird is there a is there a superstition about vampires where you um you um do wooden spoons to like seal them i don't know uh rage father muckers i do appreciate that tip that's very nice of you Ooh, potion of healing i kind of want that however i get up there um we got flying platypus dropping three dollars thank you very much i appreciate you i don't know why the cutscene uses the vampire surge i really am pretty surprised by that and i don't have a good answer for you um i wish i did i wish i did um Dude, what's going on up here? <gasps> People are sipping on that drink. Uh oh. How do we even get up here then? I mean, that looks like it. We could go all the way from over here. No. Um, let's go over here though. Let's go to this main area where there's clearly rescue the druid Halson. Now, it's a good thing that these aren't the Druid Halson. But it also says it's up. So is Halson up here somewhere, maybe? You know what? Let's try it. Let's try up here. Let's try it. Because we do have to rescue him for sure. It's very important for the quest. Uh, Flying Platypus dropping $3. Thank you very much, Flying Platypus. I appreciate you. Um, and Flying Platypus says, I found out that one of the kindergartners I work with moved, and I'm going to miss him a lot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Uh, but on the other hand, it means I don't have to worry about him biting other kids at recess. Some mixed feelings. Here's a joke. What kind of doctor is a Dr. Pepper? A physician. Uh, like fizz from a soda. That's actually really sweet, and I like that. Um, I'm sorry to hear, though, that your, your student moved. I know that's probably a mixed bag kind of feeling um, in your position. For those of you that don't know, Flying Platypus is uh, a teacher that uh, works with students who have special needs. Um, a very important and a noble and lovely job. Um, are you in the wooden, wooden test? Where is... Rescue Halzen is now down? Where is Halzen? I guess we just sort of have to ask around to find Halzen. As opposed to it just being like, yep, he's right there. Um, interesting. Ooh! That's how we get in, y'all. There's a little burrow right there, which means I, as a little kitty cat, can get right in. That's what that means right there. I'm gonna be a little kitty cat, and I'm gonna get right in there. But let's also take their drinks. And I think we can maybe steal from them. Exception fail. Exception Walls dangerous and weak. What do you mean? Oh, ooh! What are we gonna let in through the wall? I love this. Um, hold on. So, Astarian, are you going to pickpocket them? You can't. You can't pickpocket them. Um, oh, because you're not hiding. Maybe if you hide, you can hide and then pickpocket. Yeah, buddy. Uh, scroll of grease and a bone. I mean, um, okay, so. Pickpocketing with four, we could definitely do. Oh, wait, lost sleight of hand? Does it wake them up? No, it doesn't. That's funny. So we can just pickpocket them to our heart's content. Wow, how did you lose that with a four? Come on, bud. Great. Uh, and then steal that. Amazing. Um, steal from these guys, too. Um, just a bone. We don't need a bone. We don't need no bone. Um, I would love to... I wonder if we can, like, secretly break the wall right now, and maybe that's an exit plan for later? I kind of want to do it now, see what happens, then reload if I have to. There's another burrow right other, over there, so let's uh, grab all that. Um, so, Flying Platypus, thank you for, of course, the joke as well. Um, Mile Bucket dropping $3. Thank you very much, Mile Bucket. I appreciate you. And my... Ooh. Uh, Mile Bucket says, Hi, started watching Smosh again recently, and I'm so uh, glad. Board AF Legacy has been my comfort since I found it, and I'm so excited for more D&D. Your DMing style is so fun and inspires me. Hope you're well, yippee. Those are all very sweet things to say, and I greatly appreciate you. Um, Board AF Legacy was uh, definitely my first baby on Smosh, and um, I'm very proud that things have continued on in the form of D&D. I really appreciate that. Um, so thank you. Bullywug Trumpet. Yeah, we're taking that. Nice. Passing our slide of hand check. So this is cool. Um, tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to unhide. We're going to have Carlock go over here and first of all heal herself a little bit. Um, Carlock, you're gonna go over here. And then you're gonna grab this and go boop, scoot it on over. 
Scoot over the fire wine barrel, which is right here for a reason. Obviously. It's obviously here for a reason. And it's cracked well. Um, cool. And I wonder... No, I, I think that's as far as it goes. Um, so now I say maybe we, we hide. And if there's... If there's issues with what we're about to do, then may I be the first to explode. But I don't think there will be. Um, uh, Astarian has fireball shenanigans, right? All right, so everybody hide. Fireball. Go back to hiding. Oh, that's some initiative right there. Okay, yeah, they're not happy about it. Um, so I'm gonna reload that because I don't want to fight anybody. Oops. I wonder if there's a sneaky way to take down this wall. Like, they're probably going to hear it. But obviously, it's different when something explodes next to them. And they're like, who did that? Um, What'd you do? Stop it. Um, We also got some new subscribers. Everybody, please give a spicy clever coop. Welcome to Landwired, Codebreaker 2009, Mira on the Wall, uh, Pilly W1, and then V Erebus V. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, Let's see if just general attacking it is... Um, gonna be okay Let's for go. us let's try this wreck wall um can we attack it attack main hand nope that's not great we're gonna reload and we're gonna deal with that later Alrighty. we got marissa farmer dropping six 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 bucks, bucks, bucks thank you very much marissa farmer I'm um, saying sorry if this is the wrong place to ask. Is there any updates on when merch will be back in stock? Hope you're doing well. So Marissa, um, I appreciate you asking. So for those of you that know, I, I have a merch store technically, but it's been a long time since I've updated anything. Um, so the thing is, I took a little bit of a break from merch stuff, right? Because I realized that like I was sort of, I know nobody ever has to do anything, but I kind of felt like I was asking a lot from my audience. It's like, hey, can you subscribe? Hey, can you watch all the time? Like, hey, check this out. You know, hey, I'm working with Neophoric. Use my Neophoric discount code. All these different things. And I think the thing I was least passionate about personally, as opposed to something that's just like there to be like, oh, that helps support. But it's like, I think I think that would have to be the merch, right? And so I did it originally because people wanted it. And it was never something I was like super passionate about. So it's not like I won't do it again. Um, but there's definitely an aspect of like, is this... Is this the best move for me? Um, why can't I go in these burrows that are clearly made for a cat? I don't get it. That's so weird. I really want to get a black shirt. Haha. Ha. You know, in the future, I might go also with like a different company that would like allow me to um, print on demand because it does suck having like certain sizes left in stock, certain styles left in stock. And I'm just like, ah, I'd be nice to sell those, but I'm also not going to push them on anybody. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, Eh. you know if you don't sell all the things then you end up losing money on things that were printed so it just became like kind of thing where it's like I, i'm not passionate about this i don't have a mind for fashion in that way of like merch and i don't i'm not finding myself being like oh i want to sell shirts it's my thing you know what i mean like twitch is obviously something that helps support me but it's something i love doing and enjoy and every time i get to do it like I'm, I'm relaxed. Like, I've been streaming for three hours and 15 minutes, and I'm, like, wanting to do more, even though I have work tomorrow, because I'm stoked to be here. You know what I mean? So it just didn't feel right to be like, oh, I got to get all this merch stuff, you know, going. It's not... The passion isn't there. So it's not a never-say-never thing. It's just, like, it's not... It's not there for right now. And that's okay. Um, what is in here? I This looks like it would be like over here. Um, what's in here? What's in your wallet? Ooh, I can just I can just sort of see in here. That's always nice. <laughs> Thanks for that, I guess. Um, oh, I guess it would all be ceiling no matter what, including broom. All right, well, time for us to, I guess, um, go into this room because I still can't find where it says find Halsen. Actually, the find Halsen thing is gone now. Esquivolo, Night Song, ask the priestess for help. Yeah, where'd that go? It was right here, y'all. Did I screw things up? Uh-oh. Hope I didn't. Uh, but Marissa, thank you for asking. Chat did say. Oh, we have a good time. Oi! Ain't no part in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business now. 
Um, but you feel nothing <sighs> once again, we can't do this. You were like I so wasted that earlier. Reach. We got Crow dropping three dollars. Thank you very much, Crow. Uh, saying, "Hey, Damien, I've been watching you since you started Smosh, and I just want to say thank you. You were such an inspiration. Thank you so much. That is extremely sweet, and I appreciate you. Thanks for supporting for so long, and thank you for being so kind. I really appreciate it a lot. Um, that's very sweet. Let's uh, detect this thing's thoughts. Um, I hope I continue to be a kindness and an inspiration to you." Oh God, Nat one, why? At least you got your 30 gold back. Um, I'm gonna roll again. I'm just gonna do it. There we go. That's the spice. This also got Moose Wolf 2000 subscribing for the first time. Very surprisingly, welcome to you. Thank you. Those types don't even bother to wait. I don't, I don't even bother to wait. Did you turn off Karmic Dice? No, it's back on because it was even worse before. Um, I need to see the true souls. You want to keep them waiting? Well, I didn't say that. But you'll need to be more specific, mate. Absolutes blessed us with free. Ooh, that's the voice that went in you our head. To see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow. So the Drow must have been the slender, handsome man. Boss Ragslin was the one with the hammer, and then the Priestess Gut is the one with the. They said the um the pale skin and the even paler eyes. So I'm assuming she's blind. Do you now? Might feel different once she puts a burning brand. This will be really interesting. She's through the main doors. Just follow the smell of burning the main doors. Bloody racket. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, we just gained a crap ton of experience, dude. That's wild. And an inspiration? Dude, I can't help but think something big is gonna come up, or we just did something big without me realizing it. Do we have a nat one counter? Oh, that's funny. Um, damn. Wouldn't be the worst idea. <laughs> All right, so let's talk here. Warrior Rog. Being boozing. No, I haven't been boozing. No, no, that's you, silly goose. Um, Sharp Eye Gruz is up there. I suppose we should try to talk to him. Um, and there's a dragon egg mushroom. Let's go. We want that. I do have karmic dice on, but again, before when we had karmic dice off, I got way worse rolls. Everything sucked constantly. I can't even tell you. What's over here? So much fun that those got oh, cast. now there's a burrow we hole. My die. God. Now that I can't be a kitty cat, I mean, I could oh, be a kitty cat again, but I'm saving it, obviously. Dr. Sharp Eye and Zock. <laughs> also, what's this? Um, Sharp Eye and Zock. Nope. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm skipping so many things, y'all. I just think at a certain point, when the if there's nothing else to come from it, the, there's only so many times you can hear God and be like, "Oh, I'm here to tell you my life." That you're just like, okay, cool. Um, no torch needed. I guess I could also light a torch instead of a candle and just drop it. Um. Bloody wrecking. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, good you ain't. Um, over here is let's see let's see the different directions find the night song open the door ask the goblin priestess for help or rescue volo i mean volo's bottom on my list where's the halls and stuff though so anybody who knows the the halls and situation oh crap no i didn't want to do that ah oh, dang it um what the where'd he go because a second ago okay there is rescue the druid halls in Halston's research suggests there's a parasite. Uh, Druid Halston was a research parasite. Uh, they were with him, and then he hasn't returned from an expedition. So I guess it's not an exact area that he's in. They're just showing a generalized region that he could be. That makes more sense. Then we'll find him later. Did you find him the first time yet? No, now showing. I did not find him at all. Um, it just said, you know, he's supposedly in the goblin camp, so we haven't found him. But I know he's important. I know he's very important for what we're doing. Um... Oh, again, y'all, I, I don't, um, uh, it's okay. I understand the confusion sometimes. So I wasn't asking specifically for where he was. I was just asking for like general reassurance of like, you, you missed him or like you're about to miss him as opposed to like, you know, 
he's he's right there but that's okay i know you didn't know um all righty you have not missed him okay thank you wooden trunk same thing a wooden elephant has we must be close Um, okay, so that's the priestess, the true soul gut, but also the night song is over here. Maybe we do that first. That could be cool. Scroll of Revivify. It's so weird to me that like humans are involved in this and they're, just, oh my God, in a, in a halfling? Yeah, they're all just like, yeah, we'll, um, <gasps> damn, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll guard this goblin God. It's so weird to me. Um, so that door is sturdy. But I know that Astarion could um, pick that lock. So I'm curious. No, it's okay, Peachy. You're good. That's why I don't like get mad at anybody because I know it's a bit of a weird and difficult um, line to, to walk here. Um, hide. There we go. No? Yes. Ready or not. Ready or not. Let's go. Let's go. That bonus of guidance. You can do it. Okay, we got this. We got these goodies. People going to be mad, are we? Not the look. Ooh, all right. So, makeshift ladle. What else can we steal? Cauldron? All stealing, but was hidden, so we can do it. Quartz barrel. Wooden crates. Silver trick. Now that's something worth something. Let's go. And the night songs could be in there. What do we see over there? One silver tray, but stolen. How sneaky. Unlocked. Fluids. Lock it. Excellent. Come on, you can do it. Woo! 11. Nice. Might all sleep well. Thank you for being here. We also got Grandma with a rocket launcher subscribing for the first time. What a lovely name. Thank you, Grandma with a rocket launcher. Thank you for being here. Ooh, we should not go in here by ourselves, should we? All right. Um, why doesn't everyone else group up with us? Group all. Come on down. Everyone's sneaky. Everyone be sneaky. You know what this is. Oh, wait. Who's this? Bracal. Faithful of Maglubiet. So Maglubiet is a um, goblin trickster god um, that a lot of goblins follow. So it's interesting to me that there is like an ascended, like the, the ascended or the chosen, whatever they said her name is. Um, Taking my time in the shadows. Moving along. Don't forget about me after Should arriving. Okay. So are we not supposed to be here? Who have they found us? Is there a battle going? Seen everything. Okay. This is an ogre bodyguard of the high priestess um okay so this is a canopy a canopy you don't bed? have permission to be here you're about to be ejected is this smart enough to fool try to convince them you belong here um persuasion intimidation or deception i guess intimidation <laughs> jeez louise man who am i talking as right now 22 difficulty oh i'm so screwed danny phantom what's up danny i don't know if i follow you in here. there you go you're followed y'all this is my buddy danny danny is a tiktoker danny is a DD &D human and a content creator and has cool hair and i got to meet danny at gen con um what's up danny good to see you um who the hell am i rolling as right now so danny are you ready to see the the worst roles um anyone has ever seen here before it's kind of sick Let's go. Suck my butt. Um, that's a bummer. Good to see you as well. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you made it back from Gen Con today. I'm Lazel. Why am I Lazel? It doesn't make any sense. Is it a glitch? Like they keep sort of swapping who I am at weird times. Seven. All right, Lazel, don't let it discourage you. You got this. You're almost at a 22. Come on. Um, Danny, I hate to ask this of you, um, but I feel like I kind of need it right now. Can you do me a solid and uh, lend to me the heart of the cards? Laurel's here too. So many friendos tonight. Y'all, please go show Danny and Laurel both some love. 
um mind if i watch also play well also play lol uh laurel i don't mind that at all also what kind of lunatic would i be to tell you what you could do in your own home you could be um uh practicing um armor smithing and i don't know that um yeah can both of you just use the heart of the cards real quick uh thank you in the appendix of the dice yes 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 suck my fat butt i hate this so much um Well, a valiant but misguided attempt. Let go, let God. We will leave this area now. All right, yeah, it's a pretty good idea to leave the area, but also, what if? What if we were sneaky little baby? Check. Hey, don't mind me. I'm going to pickpocket. Oh, I'm going to pickpocket her. That's a good idea for me to do. Um, if I take down her bones, um, will everybody else be mad at me? You don't have permission to be here. Um, uh, alright. Now that Astarian is talking, I think we're gonna be... Uh, okay. That... No, it's only a plus one on everything? Dear God, I'm boned. Alright, Astarian, you got this, my guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, Yugi, the heart of the cards will eventually prevail. You forgot about something, Grimgrom. My grandfather's deck has no weak... You son of a bastard! Plus one! Suck my bones! It could have been. Oh, God. It's me and not a Starion? Well, that's the problem. The only thing you've managed to convince. Uh -huh. You've been caught trespassing again. Um, persuasion again? Oh, God. Minus one. Intimidation again. Oh, God. This sucks. I'm, I'm glad she gives us a thousand chances, though. That sucks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah! Critical success. I knew it. First time. Nailed it. Um,. Amazing, we did it. Heart of the cards, heart of the lion, wings of a bat. Um, you managed to talk your way in. It's no, no easy, easy feat. feat. Um, quick save successful. Amazing. Hey, I love that for us. Look at us go. Interesting times. First try, says Lauren. Yeah. Don't mm -hmm. waste Yep. You've been caught trespassing. What? Again. So it's literally just. Look at me. Do I look dangerous to you? So it's not a forever thing. I just have to sneak in every time. That felt like a bug. I don't think that's a bug. I think it's literally like, don't let her catch you again. And me surviving is, I didn't get hit with a brick on the noggin. Which like, respect. Um, oh, it does it for each character. Interesting. Not these sneaky lads. Like to be sneaky you've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might so be every individual you. person has their own sneak situation here. Got it. Damn. All right. The only thing you've managed to convince. So this is basically Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time when you're trying to like sneak into Zelda's little sneaky sneaky castle area and all the all the guards are like and you have to go back and you're just like oh man my cousin did it my cousin could do this um all right starry on this sneaky lad you've been caught trespassing again again so you belong here um there we go that's a starry on deception it's me, your old friend Astarion. You wouldn't shut the door on a friend, would you? Dog, I do not want to riz up this goblin. Ooh, baby, a triple! You've been granted free passage. What you do with that privilege is up to you. Excellent. So we no longer need to hide. Perfect. Target is too far. I say it's not too far enough. Let's go. Set fire to the rain. Um, no, Astarian, no. He's trying to hit the Gwiddy way too far. Not enough space? Damn, we're so close. Um, well then I guess, um, tell you what, Astarian, I think you could not jump. I think you could move down here and just open that chest just because, because she's not mad at you anymore, right? Um, also, whatever this is, look at. So, Gilded Chest... Oh, it's already been opened. Okay, so that's not a... Oh, a padlock key. Um, and also, animal carcass? I don't know why you're guarding that bed, my guy. But that's okay. He's the Rizzler? I know. So it looks like everything has been um, kind of looted at this point. But the padlock key is going to be important, I think. Hide. For discretion. Let's go. Move and see.
I think successful. Okay, woo, that was very close. Hey man, it's me, your buddy. How you doing, Palma? It's good to see you again, huh? Theft has been reported. Son of a bastard. You're the only suspect. Choose Why is this, this fat theft? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save scum that one. I didn't know. I didn't know. Save scum in it. I don't care. We got the darkest link dropping ten flipping dollars. Thank you very much, the darkest link. I appreciate you. The darkest link says, "Hi, Damien. I've been a fan of you since you joined in on Smosh. Just realized you were a streamer too, Lamau. Ah, that's amazing. Thank you. I've been streaming for like four and a half years. Um, but I appreciate you. Um, no, I'm just gonna be moving out over here. Bye bye. Look at me go. Uh oh. Goodbye. I gotta go. I gotta run. Theft has Son been of reported, a bastard. And it seems you're the only <laughs> Okay. So, question for anyone who's played this Choose game: If we kill her, <laughs> if we kill her." Is everyone else mad at us? Is everyone else mad at us? Is everyone else mad at us if we kill her? Or they not even know? All right, great, let's do a murder. Initiative seven, ha, huh, get wrecked. 75 health, that's the dumbest thing you could have ever done. All right, now you guys should also for sure join this battle. Um, let's go. The moment I wake Actually, oh, okay, well, we're already in it. Great. Gostarium, what I need from you is a bit of a murder. Um. Let's have you do a sneaky little sneak snake strike. Um, 88 damage. <laughs> and as a special little bonus action, a disengage. Excellent. Over here. Yeah, we're killing this sentient creature because we wanted to steal. Actually, this would make the whole situation a lot easier. Huh? That does matters. make them, that does make a lot of sense, huh? Um, all right. So now. We have our wonderful little sneaky little guy. Um, dip is a bonus action, so I don't want to do that necessarily. Um, tell you what I will do, is I'll do a little bit of, a little bit of stamina to the man, a little bit of stamina to Oh, I can cast this at a level two, why not? Por que no? Oh, spaghetti. So frustrating. What I will do then, is I'm gonna wild shape into this Deep Rotha, which we haven't seen before, and I'm so curious about it. Oh, so it's not like a satyr. Okay. Okay. Oh, but it can charge and knock them prone. That's kind of sick. Okay, cool. Saved on ice. I'm so glad it just did that just fine. Okay. Well, what you gonna do? Well, what you gonna do? Reckless attack. Um, okay, so let's do a little jumpy bumpy. I'm gonna do a little jumpy bumpy. Please, everybody, don't mind me. I'm gonna do a little jumpy bumpy. I'm gonna reckless attack this little hater. Scoop Bluey. Um, great. Excellent. Excellent. Um, all right, Lizelle. You know what? I respect the hellity. Damn it, we don't have enough movement speed. Shoot. Poop farts and butt farts. Um, great. Well, then let's at least hamstring this thing. Save some fun with this thing. Miss again. Fiddle darns. Okay, well, so it goes. Starion, I need you to be a sneaky little bastard. And we have advantage because we have friendos near it. Nice. Do a little stabby. And then, um, oh, we can do some healing. Vampiric fight. Why not? Yum, 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 yum. Um, cool. And turn. It comes easy these days. Um, let's try charging. Tui. Amazing. Oh, we did it. We murdered her. And we, it's fine. It's fine because, I'll tell you why, because I'll think about it. Oh, I could have dropped that little thing on her too. That's too bad. Um, it's fine, it's fine, really, when you think about it. Um, ooh, I'd like to take this, please. Elixir of arcane things, nice. Back of books, yeah, this whole place has been pillaged. Her whole thing was holding onto that padlock key, so I am very curious about what that does. Yay, murder. You know what, it was justified because um, I wanted to and I, felt like it you know so you know was a little tuppy toes little tup, 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 tup. so angry thank you little guy the darkest lake thank you again for your very sweet words i do greatly appreciate you um scroll of melds acid arrow that's always really cool um what's in here i wonder what's in your wallet um can't imagine this this area is particularly good cracked stones though do we break the cracked stones? Is that a thing? Iron gate? Can I... Cracked stones. Examine. Cracked stones. Okay, they're just cracked stones. Um... Chains? Use chains? I wonder who or what those chains are for. 
Back to zones. So I wonder, oh, are we going to be able to drop down? That's going to be really interesting. We are, but we don't have feather fall. So if we had feather fall, we could jump right down. Oh, wait, we can climb the rope. Can't we? Can we? No. No, we can't. But now there's a chain down there, which means perhaps, or actually, am I able to jump in a way that's not going to kill me? That's interrupted. Minus 12 HP. Nah, see, this is going to be pretty rough if I do this. Man, Featherfall looks more and more useful. Yeah! 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 Um, this is also very fine that we're doing this. Hey, a Skeleton! Dagger, Scroll of Aid. That's pretty cool. Um, Perception check. Ooh, rusty clip. That is... Not a chance I'll fit in there. Oh, so I gotta be a little kitty cat to get into that rusty crevasse. Um, okay, okay. So I guess it's... Do we do a long rest so I can... Oh, wait, no, short rest gives me uh, that back, right? Oh, oh I've got my wild shapes back. Let's go. I completely forgot. Kitty cat mode, go. Stand back. I'm gonna transform. <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, interesting. I'm right back to here. Wait a minute. Oh, this is outside that little area that those two guards were guarding. Amazing, amazing. So then can I open up this heavy chest as I am? No, I don't have thummies. I don't have thummies, do I? Um, steal and add to wares, that'll do. Okay, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna pick this up. And also there's a moon phase door. I feel like that's just supposed to be a, um, quest of some kind can i also steal and add this to my wares smoke powder barrel i should give it to someone else too another oh too heavy to steal the smoke powder barrel all right wait stealing that to wares yeah nice everything's fine everything's fine heavily encumbered all right all right now i go down to this crevasse oh this kitty cat is so sleepy kitty cat is so sleepy um all right so we're gonna unkitty cat the heaviest thing we've ever experienced. I'm gonna drop these smoke powder barrels onto the ground there. Doodly boop, doodly boop, and then doodly boop. Um, doodly boops. Great. So now I'm gonna have um, Soldier. Carlock pick up an auto wares. Pick up an auto wares. And now I'm gonna have a starion. Um, have them group on back. Oh, Lazel, group on back as well. And Damien, group on back as well. Great. Now, Astarian will say, uh, here we are. Oh, hello. I'm going to open this. Oh, hello. Oh, goodness, hello. Mm. I feel like I'm on such autopilot right now because I'm a little bit EP. That's why I'm just like, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah mm. Ah, three. Screw you, man. I can try again, though, with a different lockpick set. Different thieves tools. You can add at least eight. So rolling a 10 isn't too hard. There we go. There we are. Shannon drop in six, six, six bucks, 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 and 45 cents. Thank you very much, Shannon. Appreciate you. Saying, hey, really enjoying the stream. Um, I am uh, super, it's super helpful as I'm new to Baldur's Gate and to D&D, &D, and you explain everything so well. I appreciate that. Thank you. I try to, a little bit of gold. Um, I very much try to be accessible to those who have not experienced those things before. So truly, thank you. That does mean a lot. Um, the, uh, I am a huge Smosh content enjoyer, and I just want to say congrats, Mr. Sword AF. Hope you are treating yourself kindly and having downtime. You know, I'm not particularly good at giving myself downtime, but what I will say is that streaming lately has been um, very much my uh, relaxation time, and I appreciate you um, offering up that, um, but I am doing okay. Oh, no! The thing that we saw on the door! Can someone go back in the VOD, maybe even drop a clip, and show what that moon door looked like by chance? It was just like two minutes ago. How much long do you plan on streaming as Arachnus Web? I'd say at the latest, like 30 minutes, probably. Um, um, but thank you so much, Shannon. I, I really appreciate you. Um, don't worry, I'm taking care of myself just fine. Um, full moon on top, says Ghoulie Hubby. Okay. Um, then the half moons faced uh, the top moon. Wait, hold on. Oh, I'm not actually seeing this in a way that makes sense now. Oh, I see. It has to be full moon, but in terms of like 
this situation i see now interesting that interesting that so we got full moons half moons and then so i guess there's multiple ways to mm, so I, okay so i need this one more time to go this way there we go and this is going to be i'm going to drop this down to the half moon right hold on i guess i will look at the dwarves form you do indeed take the moon you take the moon and you take the moon and you take the moon um i think a starion had the moon poem dwarves poem son of saloon fell here in the dark below and we sealed his grave in her holy glow may the full moon never touch the stars once more may darkness never conquer the ma moon maiden's door hmm so i'm assuming it's full on top and then half moons otherwise um I don't get it I don't get it I that do the bottom is a new moon I see and then you got to have half moons otherwise okay so then if we need that to be a new moon and the full moon is on top how does that even work the bottom is a new moon so then what's on the left ghouli hubby says a uh, full moon on top then the half moons faced the top moon okay the top circle has stars in the center okay so this one is the top so so we've got this right which i don't think is particularly difficult to do um so we need to split up these extra ones you only have four black tiles i know which is weird so okay got it so the black tiles then have to be on the bottom got it i see okay well then actually that's not hard at all because we're basically there because i get to do this now right 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 you take the moon and 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 now we get to do this. There we go. Easy peasy, squeezy leasy, and then ooh, ooh, ooh. and then Danny Phantom. Thank you for believing in me. <gasps> far down. My God. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. You we'll have to go inside. Oh my God, we have so many silver plates. Also, what's with this lever that I just saw? I just saw a lever of some kind. A lever. What's with the lever over there? There was one. There's a lever right there. Don't want to press it if there's going to be a problem. Is there a problem? So I hit the lever. Ah, thank you, Danny Phantom. It was with everyone believing in me that I was able to. You hit the lever. Ah, cool. I love that that happened. I guess it just activates the ability to do it? Cool, cool, cool. We're fine. Um, all right. So I'm going to add guidance to myself just in case. We got I need assistance dropping three dollars. Um, thank you so much. I need assistance. Hello. Oh, that's neat. I love this. I love this game. God, I love this game. There's so much to do. Um, I've been trying to move objects with left click, but I'm unable to even with a 17th strength character. Is this a bug or am I missing a keybind? Um, so I need assistance. I've been clicking and holding down and then I just drag it. Um, I don't know a uh, logbook of sendings. I don't know what else would be missing for you. Mark, there's a reference there. Uh, enough foolishness. This is the thing. Uh, these chapels. Spread her lights. Spread the ladies' light. Okay. Fortified what we can, but wards won't last. Seal the tunnel and do not follow. You are right. This place belongs to them. Okay. So clearly there's stuff here. I probably should have uh, explored that more. Um, but we're going down here. We are linked. Ooh, my friend has texted me. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so I just texted a friend. Um, they are watching right now. So in a minute, okay, in a minute, I'm gonna wave, and they're watching um, at a friend's place. So they can't, they can't listen fully. I'm just gonna make a thing and be like, "Hello, hi, hi." If you're going to complain the whole way, I always return topside. You choose the color. You take the moon, and you take the moon. Underdark time. Is this the Underdark? Oh, hell yeah. Is it really? Iron Gate. Iron Dangus. 
Um, man, I guess we could use Gale right now with um, Knock. We are burning through these lock picks, and I don't mind it. I'm sorry, difficulty class 20? I might save scum this. I mean, I don't want to assume. I guess we would roll minimum 12. 12 isn't bad. That's, what, a 55, 60% chance. 40% chance of succeeding. We did it. No, wait, 60%. No, at least a 12, 40% chance. We're good. Is there anything we'll miss by doing this? Arachnus Web, I don't think so, because we haven't done the quest yet. We've just sort of dropped down here. Um, a Brazier. Ooh, fancy fire. Oh, fire next to your explodey barrels. Yeah, that's always good. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, a gilded chest. I'll just Very nice. Help myself. Very cheap. Locked again. Come on. Ooh, wait. Pick up? What does that mean? Oh, medium encumbered. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, lock pick. Let's go. 15. Well, after that, 15 is straight up nothing. Let's go. Um, we have to roll a minimum of seven to get this to work, but it could potentially work with a five. Eight. Hey, there we go. Nice. Pretty sick. Cool. Here, I thought it was going to be a short stream. Dark Princess, you are correct. It wasn't. Um, Helmet of Smiting. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, Bolstering Smite. When you apply a condition with one of your Smite spells. Oh, come on. It's only for Paladins. I don't think there's a Paladin like character that we can play as. Unless we hire... Oh, um, ooh, what is... Oh, unless we hire um, a Mercenary. Which we can do. We also got a new subscriber. Everybody, please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to Honey BB. Sounds like a pet name if I've ever heard it. Um, but thank you. <laughs> With the dame, no way. Live, how dare... Oh, there's Featherfall. We can use that now. Um, How dare you say that and make me think Jeez. of the magic school bus. Why couldn't this be a normal field trip? With the frizz? No way! Who's in on a movie? Um, oh, she would be mildly encumbered. I think we have enough explody barrels. No. No, we don't. Um, tell you what I'll do. I'm going to pick up and add this to my wares. And then I'm going to have her transfer this back to camp. Let's have you transfer it back to camp. And you don't need that great axe. You don't need that one. You don't need that one. Sword of Justice. I think we can give that to Lazel, and that'll be good for us. In fact, let's take a look at what else Lazel could use at this moment. So let's send it to camp. All right, Lazel, what do you have there? What'd you like? We got a scale nail for you. Is that better? No, it's not get better than Githyanki half plate, but we do have a sword of justice. That's better than a great sword, isn't it? And what's it do for you? Here. Um, weapon enchantment plus one, and you can have tears protection. Let me look at what that is. A level one abjuration, you increase its armor class by two. That's pretty good. So let's have that then. Man, just carrying barrels on him. Hey, I keep that thing on. Me. You know what I mean? Always. Um, opulent chest. Oh, opulent. Oh, disarm. Crap. Nope. We're gonna go with you, Astarian. Disarm. We're gonna disarm this. This one's a little riskier because uh, it's a disarm situation. So if we don't get it right, we could uh, explode. Seven plus. Oh, you bastard. But it could be better if we get more with the guidance than one. Plus three. Oh, we did it. Yes. Nice. Now we need to unlock it. This is wild. We are just burning through every single lockpick we have. Oof. Oh, oh, buddy, no. Oh, my hand explodes in the dust. Try it again. We've had so many nat ones. Hey, but at least we got a nat one out of the way there. And the three out of the way there is probably going to be way better after this. Does the karmic die? More thieves tools. Let's go. Who cares? Oh, buddy, the chest flies clean open and doubles itself. Nice. Money. 54 gold? My sweet batoot, 54 gold. I will eat your family. How dare you, sir? How dare you, madam? Um, so I guess we can go down through here now, and there's a, there we go, a teleporto situation. Minus three HP, can't do that. Don't want that for me. Um, we can get down there another way. Let's go over here. Watch the shadows. Watch the shadows. 
Doodly -doo. interesting. That was a very rude chest. I feel like a lot of the chests that we're unlocking in this game that seem extremely valuable um, end up having just like a little bit of money. Like their whole secret treasure that they're guarding is just a little bit of money. I'm not, you'd never say I'm like here for it, right? Who's in on the main street? Oh, there's a, that's a, that's a god for you right there. That's, that's the Lord, L O R D T. Opulence, you. <laughs> god, that's funny. Opulence, you own everything. We got Kovalin subscribing with Prime. Thank you so much, Kovalin, for using your Prime on me. I appreciate you. Um, hey, Carlock, you know it's, you know what time it is. Time to make yourself a tactical nuke just by existing. The moon goddess idol. Well, we'll just have to see in a minute. Faded logbook. That could also be useful. Yeah. Now all I need is to learn how to read. Most of this logbook is left empty. Last entry reads log 182. I was wrong. Should have paid more attention to the drow sightings. Should have known they were only a prelude. Stupid to think we had outsmarted them. This will be my last entry. Nymph will keep the records from now on. Seems like everything turned out. Okay. Um, let's do this. Now we got a teleporto machine. That's awesome. God, there is so much to explore. Another faded logbook. What's that one? Oh, okay. I guess we'll gra we're grabbing that one. Read it. Signs of life. They're intelligent. Uh, there's other things. There's drow. Okay, so there's drow everywhere. So drow, y'all, are elves that make their home underground. Um, they are often unfairly judged. Um, but that being said, sometimes they're known for being mm, pretty evil. Um, we don't love it. Nobody loves it. And it's weird that they made it that way, but it's, it is a thing. Hey, uh, Redilo or H H R E D L O. I don't know your name. Um, oops, saves. What? What do you mean saves? What do you mean saves? What's going on? Oh no! Oh, the portcullis! Not the portcullis! Not the portcullis! Um, uh oh. Um, send to camp. Send to camp. Um, oh god. Um, send to camp. Uh, send to uh camp. Um, I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, oh wait, the thing died. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I wonder if we can loot it through the bars. Okay, so this goddess thing is real fancy and is ready to lay down the flippin' law on anything that uh, shows its stupid face. Uh, Redilo, thank you very much for the kind words. I know I got in the middle of... Got a little distracted by the uh, murder in the middle of that. Um, There is a lever, so I guess I could open that stuff up, which is a little spooky. Now, what's... What's this situation? What are you? What even are you? I don't believe I've ever seen anything like you before. Oh, it's targets for target practice. And what am I looking at with the goddess here? Hammer. Oil barrel. Pick up an ant wares. And send for the camp. Oh my god. This is the Underdark. Look at that. Wow. That's wild. This whole mushroomy, spooky area. There's going to be so many goodies here. Ooh. Golly gosh. Jelly beans, butter bumps. Look at this go. Send to camp and then send to camp. Nice. Um, thanks for hanging out so late, y'all. I appreciate you. I can't believe this. Damn. Heavy crossbow. That's gonna be cool. That's a new one for us. I wonder if anyone Ooh, selenite key. Alright. Um, what does this key do? Oh. Underdark. Ooh. Don't worry of the dangers you can see. Oh, good. Worry of the dangers you can't. What? The great. Looks empty. Yeah, but does it smell empty? It smells like you're just like, I <laughs> got you. Um, okay. Uh, let's check out these tattered notes real quick. Um, I lock. Check your notes there. I don't need any attention right now. Don't. I always. Um, tattered notes. This place is dark, but the lady's light shines. Oh, who is Chelsea raiding with a party of 119? What is up? Who is Chelsea? We know exactly who Chelsea is. Um, y'all, what a lovely stream day with so many different raids from friendos, little visits from friendos. I can finally raid you. I know, Chelsea, you always stayed up later than I do, but Baldur's Gate, 
it has changed that y'all chelsea is a lovely human being and streamer who likes horror games and plays dead by daylight a lot it's just a, a gen genuinely kind human being um so i appreciate you for the raid um so please uh the turntable flips around as they do um please go show chelsea some love in the meantime hi everybody who doesn't know me yet i'm damien i'm a twitch streamer i'm a voice actor um i also uh, work with the channel smosh you might know me from some of their videos um but today we're playing Baldur's gate 3 and we're like four hours in i finally started uploading my streams to youtube um so if you get lost at all and want to check up on what we've done great um but you're you're more than welcome to hang out um we're we just got to the underdark which is kind of pretty cool so far and also just a little bit spooky um so that's you know that's a whole situation kind of sick um but yeah come on come on down enjoy yourself hang out oh the moon drop pendant um this should go to someone else this should go to someone else this should go to someone who doesn't have a necklace that's everyone nobody in my game has a necklace mind flayer parasite specimen oh that actually might be awesome because then we can um utilize that to have someone else learn from it to get the parasite out of our brain so real quick for those of you who have not seen this game yet the the situation is as follows we are a bunch of heroes who got kidnapped by mind flayers they put little parasites in our brain which is how mind flayers reproduce um and then uh we broke out of that situation found other people just like us and we're trying to figure out how to get rid of these gosh dang old mind flayers in our brain um we've teamed up in order to do that but as DD often goes we found a lot of extra little quests in the meantime um i hope this thing doesn't zap me to death which it might the minotaur doesn't drop anything are you kidding me dude hey i hope it doesn't zap me just because i'm walking by it it sure could though <laughs> um chasm creeper let's try that yeah that's the thing it sure is zapping me stab of the moon maiden no we want that we want that though stab of the moon maiden um we're gonna survive and we're gonna get out of here viridian crystal great um, oh my god, I'm so screwed. I can't believe we survived that. Holy crap. So I'm gonna do a quick save real quick here. And then we're probably going to jump out of this area. Um, the journal. You know what? I think we finally found a use for Mage Hand. What's going on now? What's what's up? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, you mean Rumble? What do you mean with the Rumble? Why the Rumble here? What do you mean? Okay. Um, I need you to grab this journal now, um, Mage Hand. Dog, it literally can't do anything to nothing. It can't even grab this journal! I hate Mage Hand so much. Um, all right, now I need you to grab this journal, I guess. Sell your night journal. Um, okay, so we're getting a nature check where I'm getting knocked down. Starting to think, starting to think, uh, this is bad and I should leave this situation. Fungal spores everywhere. Okay, great. spores are everywhere. I kind of want all of these goodies, uh, these little mushrooms here. Falar Alive. What is that then? That looks like a special thing. Oh, God. Don't do bad things. What in the hell is Is it the mushrooms? They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Who is it? Who is here? Um, tell me I'm not imagining that voice. <laughs> That's... That's so the like D&D &D trope turned. or like adventuring movie trope they of like, you guys heard that too, right? Uh, don't tell me. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I kind of want that sword, whatever it may be. It's probably trapped, I don't care. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. I'm sure it's fine. Um, religion or strength. Um, I'm gonna leave because, you know, he's way better at strength. Arlock. We're gonna save first. We're gonna do that. Um. Slender drow blade impales that the looks stone so cool. You, I want it real bad. I deserve it, frankly. Um, strength versus religion. Plus three. It's gonna be. Oh, only a fifteen to do that. Okay, 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 okay. I think this could be good. I think this is gonna be awesome. When we pull it out of here, I've seen a lot of adventure movies. I've played a lot of adventure games. When we pull this out, um. Pulling, uh, thank you for subscribing. Fresh King, a very spicy, clever coop. Welcome to you as well. 
and then live three two two four drop in six 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 box 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 thank you very much saying i hope you enjoy the accidental mind plague of the magic school bus how dare you I also just wanted to hear the echo again. It's so cool. Thank you. You know what? I never listened to myself do it until I watched my upload the other day. And I was like, that does sound weird on a microphone. All right. Everybody believe as hard as you can. Let's go. Who's in on the main street? Son of a bastard. Oh, no. Do you have re-rolls? Please tell me she has re-rolls. You got this. You got re-rolls, right? Please, 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 please. Oh, God, no. No matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. Okay. She's just like, ah, oh, screw it. It doesn't like shoot a laser into her bones. Um. All right, sure. Why not also do religion if that's where, where we're going with this? You can just try it no matter what, everything. Okay. You're really good at religion with a ritual. Sure. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elastraea. Elastraea, I was going to say. Blood can only be honored with blood. She had a few drops of blood on the stone. Yeah, that doesn't pack me in anything. Ah, God, that made me cringe. I love that. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering. God, I do love Karlak. Dope. Nice. Uh, ooh, the rights of the Dark Dancer? That's cool. I think I've heard of the Dark Dancer before, and that's kind of awesome. Um, yes, you love to see it. Uh, Swarming's Toadstool and a helmet. Nice. We don't even need those extra things. Um, Viridian Crystal, give me that too. And you know what? As soon as crap hits the fan, we're just going to teleport out of here. So how cool that we got these free goodies. Um, <laughs> Lizelle... I've got great news for you. Um, you ready to have a new best friend who got you a special, special treat? Um, Wyvern Toxin. Um, Goblin's Ron. Oh, Goblin's Ron. Read. Ron and Charcoal Lines. This it picks three figures. All right. Um, where's the weapon? We just had it. Um, Nature's Snare. Oh, yeah. That's another really good uncommon weapon. Why am I not? Oh, that's my. That's. I'm so used to them being in a different order. That's so weird. Um, Falar Aluve. Um, performance plus one, and it gives them a melody? That's kind of cool. So now you just get to, instead of tears protection with six to 16. What? No, it's worse than what you're using? Oh, but it's a long sword, which means it's not a finesse weapon. Can you just have that? Oh, Astarion, my friend, get ready for a grand old day. Wait, is this even better than the dagger? We have five to eight, two to seven, five to 14. So obviously five to eight. Wait, what? No, come on, pop it out. What? Oh, it has to be a two hand? No, that sucks. I can't do that then. Oh man. So wait, who is this for? If it's not better than what she has, Lazelle. Wait, is it? Five to 14, six to 16. Ah, uh, dude. That sucks. Five to 14, yeah. I guess, man, that's a huge bummer. Put long sword on his main hand, but it still makes it double. I mean, it still has to be a two hand, right? Or dagger, five to 10. Yeah, Astarium still would have to have a two hand on that. Yeah, I can't do that. Five to ten. This is five to eight. Four to six, seven, eight two to seven. Um, that sucks. Dual wield it with Astarian. Y'all, I, I can't. I can't. I cannot dual wield it with Astarian. It's unfortunate, but I can't do it. Um, and that's a huge bummer that that's not better than the thing we already have. Man, shoot. I guess we'll hold on to it. It still could be good. I don't want to just sell it special like artifact i'm not gonna be like neat and then just get rid of it nature failed oh man how about you still alive so that's progress best be on my way melted down into ninja stars pretty baller thing to do it sounds kind of sick um bone cap nice yeah i'm definitely worried that things are going to be popping out of the woodwork here in a minute but for now we um oh god oh god what are you what are you no 
Oh no, what is this? What is this? How heavy, how big much are you? Level four, that's actually not nearly as bad as I thought. I think we're gonna be okay. Right? Yeah. Um, can't hit it. It's not in my range. Um, let's move over here a little bit. Keep guessing. He is he is indeed him big. Him big. Big lad, big son. Um, but we do have a sneak attack situation that we can do. Because we have the initiative. Cunning action hide. For a new approach. Yeah, we're gonna hide over here. Great. So now he's just busy being sneaky over there. Catch my breath. Um, now my guy over here, here's what he's gonna do. He's gonna uh, moon laser you. Moonbeam him. And I'm tempted to wild shape, but then I can't move moonbeam again. So I'm also gonna sort of go Best over here and be a way. sneaky little lad. There's gonna be fire, baby. Did she just say there's gonna be fire, baby? How can anyone not choose her as the romance option? She's so cool. Um, it's gonna be fire, baby. Yeah. So a little jump, jump a Roni. Um, let's move a little more, and then I think I can probably do like a reckless attack here. Not enough movement. How are you talking about? I'm right there. Last raid. Come on, man. Come on. We're always like one movement short with her kind of sucks dude kind of sucks dude um i guess we could do cleave which is close enough to do this finally some damage on him oh we did a critical hit oh did we not choose the critical hit thing with her dude on the move thanks to hell Got him. don't get to jump with her anymore i botched it i botched it that's okay i botched it um Let's um let's hamstring this thing. So it can't really move as far. Of course we missed it. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. And then uh bonus action, tears protection. We're gonna um protect a creature from attacks. Um obviously this thing, uh Car Carlac is about to be attacked for sure. Let's increase her shield of faith. Okay, you know what? This weapon we have is pretty good. Like, what can I say? Um, CF, uh, C -Flo, C Flow Audio, subscribing for the first time. A very surprisingly clever people. Welcome to you. Oh, there's another. There's an. I don't love that. That there's another. Oh God, no, Carlac, no. Um, okay, Astarian. Um, let's go ahead and do another sneak attack on this man's. Another low ground situation. I thought he was hiding. Does he not have a good sneak attack mode here? Another miss that kills me, man. Straight up kills me, dude. All right, so he's sneaking. Fight. Let's go. Um, I say as an action, I'm going to move this. Um, to right here. Hits him again. That's pretty good. But he saved again. And I don't love that, but that's okay. We're gonna move back over here just in case. <laughs> right, Carlac. Now's your time to do some crazy shenanigans. Go ahead and do a lacerate move. Yes, excellent. Oh, and we're gonna actually, you know what? We're gonna sacrifice movement to prepare. I love that for me. I guess theoretically I could have moved back. Oh, wait a minute. Do heavy to shove, man. That would have been really cool to do. Oh, well. All right, Lazelle. Now's your time. You also get to lacerate. I keep forgetting to jump with her first. That's a huge bummer. Um, TBH. Ending attack. Not enough movement. Great. I love that. Um, I guess we just shoot him normally, I suppose. Six damage. Cool. Um, man, I, show, I so wish we could just shove them off the edge. But at least they're kind of blocked with, um, oop. Kind of blocked by Lazelle at the moment. Okay. Oh my God, Lazelle is taking crazy damage. Holy crap. Okay. Um, not great. Tell you what, not great that happened. Wait, the other Minotaur just died. Did he kill the other Minotaur? Or did it Moonbeam did it? Did Moonbeam done did it? Um, either way, running action hide. Let's go. End your turn. My feet. Uh, let's move that Moonbeam again. You right the heck here. I just don't want to hit, um, Carlac. 
Boom. There we go. Another moonbeam situation. You love to see it. And I'm going to have him uh, drink a party on. Um, all right. You know what? Reckless attack. Let's go. Yeah, baby. That's the move. Um, 41 health left. So I can frenzy, and you gain frenzy strike and enrage throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack. Um, but it's it's a bonus action, and I should, would have had to have done that first. Um, right, Azel. Now is your moment. Are you ready? My path be true. Painting attack. Go. Nice, 14 damage. But then we're gonna action surge, so we can do it again, more or less. But it's a disarming weapon. It doesn't have a weapon, and so we can't do that. Um, crap, that sucks a million butts. Um, then let's do a normal attack. Uh, wait, no, last raid is better. Last raid is better. Um, 88 with advantage. How did you miss? How did that happen? Um, emulated the unworthy. That's kind of awesome. Oh, got it. No, it can do it. It can do damage to you too. Um, all right. Well, Minotaur taking more damage. Um, charged. Don't hit Lazel off a cliff. I swear to God. Um, ooh. 19 damage. What would a sneak attack do? Ooh, 20 damage. You know what? No, jump is a bonus action. So let me go ahead and do this here. Yes, that was great. Do I have enough movement to bite him? Might do that. Oh, it only does four healing. Let's uh, let's save it for this lad. Um, moving the moonbeam to right here. And we should be good. Nice. We did it. Hi, Blizz. How are you? Welcome on in. Thanks for saying hey. Oh, God. Lazel's dying. Um, um, um. I botched it. I botched it. Uh, move the moonbeam away. Um, we gotta go save her. Sorry, one second. I gotta save my friend. She's, uh, she's dying. Um, where is she? There she is. Help. There we go. Yeah, you're fine. Walk it off. Um, welcome on in. I've been streaming for so many hours. Um, and I love it. And I'm not tired even a little bit. Wait, Lazel's dead dead? No. No, dude. What happened? I thought I helped her up. Oh, God. Well, Carlac has a scroll of revivify, so I kind of have to do that. All right, Carlac. Um, let's help up Lazel, I suppose. There we go. My injuries need tending. Yeah, I know. Your injuries are feeling real tendy. I get it. Um, so that's. Mm, she's not doing great. Um, but what we can do for me here we can heal uh we can heal you totally fine no nobody wants you to you're gonna be great oh beans we got another raider oh blizz thank you for dropping all these raiders thank you for saying hey this is wild we've been raided so many times tonight thank you so much blizz i appreciate you if you are new here hi everyone my name is damien i'm a voice actor i'm a twitch streamer you may also know me from the youtube channel smosh Thank you so much for coming down. Um, I stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, um, and this game uh, has my brain in a vice. This is Baldur's Gate 3. If you don't know, it's D&D &D as a game, literally rolling dice, etc. cetera. Um, and so my characters are getting their crap rocked um, a lot, uh, and that's okay. We're still winning and having fun. Um, <laughs> but thanks for coming in. Um, I've started uploading my cut downs here to, uh, to YouTube, not cut downs, just VODs. Um, but yeah, I've been streaming about four hours tonight and I do have work in the morning and I woke up at like 6.30 to do work this morning too. But you know what? You know what? I'm having fun. Um, hells yeah, Blizz. Well, I guess y'all have to come to LA or I have to go to Austin. But um, Hexen, Hexen, yeah. Um, thank you for dropping on in. Um, God, this game is so good, by the way. Blizz, are you playing this right now? What were y'all playing today? Out of sheer curiosity. Grabbing all these mushrooms because we can do alchemy in this game, and obviously we're just getting treats. We're just getting treats. Um, let's see here. As everyone's uh brain in a deadlock. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ooh, perception. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there are traps. There's so many traps. Oh god! Dog. No. Why? Why are you just getting hurt like that? Why would you do that to yourself? Okay, we're gonna jump over here then. Everyone else, you good? Hey, everyone else, group up, right? A group, and then I say group. Group all, come on. Group all, RuPaul. Oh, the net exploded. That's super cool. So I guess I'll do this, and then I'll hop on down. After I do this, 
isn't great. The Zentarim. Mercenaries and cutthroats. Useful Ooh. friends, if you can afford them. I can't afford them. I'm quite poor. Oh, now I have to pick a lock, where a Starian would normally do this. Damn. Um, thieves tools. I only have three thieves tools, but at least I have guidance. So if I roll a six or above, we're guaranteed to be good. Um, theoretically, I could roll a three and still be fine. Technically. Oh, is a 19 enough? Yeah, I think so. Liz, thank you for gifting a sub to Cat Loving Nerd. What a wonderful name and what a wonderful gesture. Um, ooh, lots of explodable goodies. That's nice. Oh, fancy treats for me. Oh, fancy eats for me. Fancy eats for me. Um, let's have more fancy eats. Oh, taking all the different foods that they needed for their lives. Glowing gem. Ah, oh, what's this then? Salmon. I, I, I break it. Talk it with my main hand. Don't make me do this every time, dude. Do I have a cantrip that would do better? Corn whip on it? Three. Okay, two is better. Crack the deer. Give it a beer. Splurgin turf. Herendelstein. Younger starts. Prendil. Pendle dudes. Hope something cool happens and not just an immediate death. That would suck. Quickity splee. Whoa, purple fluorite shard. Okay, that's that's something. What what do you do? Fluorite shard. A common underdark crystal. Fluorite seems to form anywhere where light is scarce, though only bigger stones are suitable for mining. Nice. We got one of them bigger stones, I suppose. Pretty sick, dude. Pretty nice. Oh, we don't need torches. Um, gonna grab everything from here, and then I saw a heavy chest elsewhere, and I think then we're gonna probably leave the Underdark and go back to our goblin-y quest. Because, again, two people needed rescuing from goblins, and we just sort of got sidetracked. I'm gonna assume they're still alive, but you know what happens when you assume? People die. People die, so... People died. Ready to live with that. So many goodies. Dude. Oh, two different rings? Wait, look, what's Loth's candle? Is that, a, is that a type of stone? Loth's candle. Pork loin? That's not a type of stone. We know that right now. Um, what's our most recent? Loth's candle. Acid vial. Must be a type of stone. These are all good items, though. I'm glad we did it. OMG, the different voices are giving Brennan Dungeon Master vibes so perfect. Oh! Oh, what an honor. What an honor to be compared that way. Thank you so much. Um, I am a voice actor, but, you know. just It's just fun being a silly little guy. Um, so thank you. Ooh, another rustic chest. And we are indeed running out of lockpicking opportunities. Um, let us add a guidance to ourselves. Click the roll. Come on, 17. Ooh, baby! The first one I've been able to call this entire game. Success. Use the thief to Silver mummies? Bronze mummies? Pretty sick. Why can't this be a normal field trip? Fruit? No way. Who's in on a See, who, who put that in my head in stream earlier? Who did that? Okay, Loth's Candle is an alchemical ingredient. Got it. Who did that? Who was that earlier? I need to know, and who do you think you are, and why? Oh, so there's a whole disarming situation, too. We, we are not... This is... If all our people that could have gone up and done this, this is not the guy. This is not the guy. Live! Ah, oh, with the phrase. There's no way. Okay, so here's, here's where we're gonna, I'm going to roll again because I don't want to die. I think it would make us explode if we didn't do it well. Oh, baby. I think we got this. Yes, we do. Who's in on me? All right, cool. And now we have to lock pick it too. Damn, that was wild. Straight up wild, isn't it? Let's lock pick this. Oh, let's see here. Difficulty class 10. That we can do just fine. 
What did I say? It's all in the dice. That's the law of D&D. D&D. &D. It's all in the dice. Come on, something more than just gold this time. Ha ha. Ooh, a scroll of speak with dead. I kind of love that. That's so cool because we can also get Gale to answer that. Or to not, absorb that rather. And then learn it forever, which is kind of sick. I hate this so much. Very. So here's what I'll probably do. Did I apologize to the rest of you? No. It's not my fault this is happening. You take the move. Who did that too? Who put chowder in my brain? Who made me a chowder head? Knock it off. You are a chowder head. Um, let me see. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeet some stuff back to That's right, the owl bear egg. Nice. Um can I just like Can I do this? I'm like, yeah, I can full on select. Nice. Let's send these all back to the camp. That's pretty cool. Um I think I'm good after the <laughs> Idol of Selene. I still want to steal from the Druid camp, too. All right, so let me go ahead and unlock that. I guess I could just add... You know what? Pick up an add to wares. And then... You just send it to camp, baby. Isn't that easy? You pick up a chest and you send it to the chested camp. You never have to worry about lockpicks again. Let's go on the elevator. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I can't use this. Locked. I need a key. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. All right. Well... I think since we got the fast travel situation from this underdark situation and we're going to have to jump down and break both of our legs to get back with our group here, we might be nearing the end of this four and a half hour stream. What was I thinking? I was like, guys, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream today. I'm real tired. I went to bed. I went to get some sleep last night. Now here I am. It's 1142. Damn it. Now all I have waiting for me is boy dinner. Boy dinner. Ah, oh, but there looks like there's so many cool things down here. What about all the trees? You guys ever think about that one? That's the thing, Bat. You didn't think about the trees. Known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Ooh! Yo! What a cool payoff! Look at this! Is everyone recognizing this? So two streams ago, we knocked this phase spider matriarch all the way down into a chasm and therefore didn't have to fight this boss that was just chilling. And I suppose it landed here and it didn't desplort, but it's definitely dead. Oh, what? Poisoner's robe, that's so cool. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, nature failed. Nature failed twice. See, can you imagine if we didn't explore for all the trees? That's so. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is probably the end of the Underdark for us for now, because there's clearly so, I mean, this is a whole biome, y'all. Like this is, yeah, I mean, look at this. This is gonna go nuts. There's no way. Um. So, I'll tell you what. Let us go back to. You know what? Let's go back to. Let's go back to the goblin camp. Right? It's a whole other map, says Byland. All right. Well, then, I mean, there's our answer. Go back here. We're going to do a long rest. Um, Because we're EP and we deserve it. And then from there, um, we're going to call it a stream. My voice is starting to give out. Um. Ooh. Oh, no, Will is here. One horn, the stink of Avernus. Advocatus I forgot Diaboli. they hate each other and he's sworn oh, to kill her. God's damned. Blade of Frontiers. Please don't, Will. I love her. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. It's okay, so you guys Karnak, live in the same house now. I hope the cool. Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator. Come to burn the sword coast to ash. No, 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 she's cool now. What did all wrong, Will? Karlak's not about to hurt anyone. Oh, God, we could literally... We have the choice to betray her like that? Hell no. Who does that? Who does that on their first run is my question, too. 
Well, not counting the fuckers that named a good oh, hurting. We almost cursed to swear. Huh? Shut it, devil. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. All right, well, hold on. Then. You'd cut yeah. a child's throat just to taste the blood. Not so. A devil. I didn't take the blade for a fool. I. A oh, we're brain connected. That's right. Through you, the fire of the first hell. You are coming. Fire of the first hell. Tearing tech. through demons across a blood red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. Mm -hmm. The front lines of the blood war. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Mm -hmm. Proof, clear as summer sky. It's over, Karlak. It's time you feel the sting of the blade. You can't I use your own nickname. You. you can't I'm do not that. what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils. Zariel's servants. Wow, I love having Zahai's incredible um, the ability escape. to tell everyone Will you were right in the brain. with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the blood war, mm. not an agent of it. Blood war hurt us all, that's for sure. I, no, I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. Mm. I may be an effective soldier, mm -hmm. but I never wanted to serve Zarya. Yeah, not Zarya. Away Zarya from her sucks. the first chance I got. And yet you served. It's giving devil. She served. Um, I never should trust you or you want to fight. We'll all give you one. Um... Stand down. I saw what I saw. I like is not a danger. I'm gonna say be practical because I think Will is gonna be pissed off if I'm just like, no, she's good. And I could, right now I should just be logical and be like, look, I know you don't like her. We're gonna be okay. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. Perception pass. No, devils cannot be trusted. Uh, well, I'm also, I'm also a tiefling. I don't really love that you're saying that. Um. God, you're stubborn. Karlak's not a devil. You know it. Or saw Karlak's thoughts. He poses no threat to the Sword Coast. I'm going to say that. You know approves, 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 approves. All oh, right. Lots of approval. We, everybody loves me. I'm not a devil. You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. Yeah, I do. Just don't kill her. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the blade got his name. He's pretty, and I we're going to discuss that later. On all I am, I am not what you think. Shit. Shit. Yeah. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was going to have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truth, sir. Okay. Eh? Aye. And now the kid says, they, Max and Cheese. I see no. the good in you, Karlak. They don't. I promise not to lose sight of it. Even when the hells burn hottest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. That was kind of crazy, you guys. Um, we're going to talk to Karlak. We're going to talk to Will. We're going to do all the chatting and stuff here first. Um, I want to sort by type because if there's a bunch of things that we don't like need um how is that sorting by type there's a bunch of food mixed up with bombs that's not how things work you silly beans take some take some um uh actually i'm gonna hold on to that one um store the cheese store the cellulite right the ring, the ring, the ring, the ring. Um, all right, store all these in the camp. Um, also, the Oak Father's Embrace. I don't need it. We got the Henge Wanderer armor. I don't need it. We got the Poisoner's Robe. God, that's so good. I'm gonna use it later. Uh, mm. I'm gonna stop that one. Um, boop and boop, and then we're gonna. Nature Snare is also pretty good, but I like the stabby aspects. Watcher's Guide. Ew. Cool. Um, it's in a camp. You and you, and you to camp. Um, just want to get all this weight out of my stuff. Wait, wait. Oh, uh, send a camp. Great. Um, cool. Uh, let's talk to. Actually, I do. I did learn about a really interesting thing that you can do with Carlac um, here. Um, 
So I'm trying to see if there's anything around that would allow me to do that thing. I don't think there is. Fuck it. Uh, Lazel. Uh, stop. Whatever. Shoot. Shoot. It's something that I saw so much of at the beginning of the game, and now, like, I can't find it anywhere. And I don't really want to spoil what it is. Oh, there we go. Cool. Like, I just don't want to spoil what it is yet. What All right, so let's talk to Carlac, and then we'll talk to Will, too, and check in. Will's also going to be sad that we're in love with Carlac, and she loves us, too. We've decided that's probably the case. Um, Liv3224, dropping 369. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Liv, saying, Hi, hello, it's me. I'm the one that put the chowder and the Magic School Bus songs in your head. Liv, dog. I appreciate the tips. Why? Why? I kid you. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Yeah, yeah. Well, you did come to his camp. Um, I'm glad he's joined us too. Glad you two could make peace. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. That's always my vibe too. I will have soon. I don't like making anyway. enemies. I like making people friends or at least acquaintances whenever you can. Even if someone wrongs you, I do, I do my best to... You know, figure it out. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? So how'd you end up with such a contraption in your chest? The year, ten air. The place, sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Oh, I'm from there, yeah, yeah. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-knee delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when mm -hmm. I fell into the mm -hmm. wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't me. You didn't like respect respect the him, right? And the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. Mm. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and mm. set me to work. But mm -hmm. to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Did you guys hear that microphone shift again? The 10 years of that. Go on. Tell them. I'll meet out the best ones bit by bit, so you always have a reason to keep me around. Clever, right? You mentioned the boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. His name was Gortash. One of these Dog, if, if a guy named Gortash betrays you, it's not on you. You kind of know that. Because I was naive thing. to think everything he got up to was above board. Mm -hmm, yeah. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I His was His name good was at. Snarf the Electrix. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Um, um, this is where I thought I'd end up. How about you? Um, <laughs> funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that nautiloid. We never would have fallen I in mean, love. I know where I'd be, trapped in Avernus still, with mm. a blade of frontiers on my tail. Mm -hmm. But what about you? Um, I'd be in the middle of another adventure. Blessedly free of any tadpoles. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous <laughs> shit. Yeah. Giants, beholders, <laughs> fans, like the works. Uh, Maybe what once can I we've say? wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll like rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. End of, end of, end of line? Copper for your thoughts? Yeah. Um, now that those paladins are out of your way, What's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to. Oh, yeah, we need to talk to, to the to Dan and. Right? What's that infernal Just engine do to you? You get power. Talk, um, you must be. Angry, oh, nervous, you must delighted, have been pent enticed. Up. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But, not today. So, her th whole thing, so far as I know it, is like, she's got this infernal engine. Soldier. You can't cool off. 
Fling a devil. Fling sure. a devil. Anyway, what were we talking about? All right, so that's it. So she can't, you know, smooch you or be with you because um, she's got all this being on fire to worry about. Right, 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 right. So I saw a TikTok about this. But let's see if it's a thing for reals. We talked to her. Soldier. Now she's all wet. What? You got sploosh. What's on your mind? Oh man, I guess we have to wait until like she's more um interested in us. Because in this game. She's all like, I would kiss you, but my body's on fire and you'll get hurt. And then you do a little sploosh and she goes, actually, I am a little bit cooler right now. We can try to, we can try to smooch. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. You just need to learn your lines better, my guy. Someone set you on to Carlac's tail. <laughs> I'd like to know who. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Penance? I'd be worried. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Oh, poor guy. He's well, so sad. I've noticed your stone eye. You lose it in battle. It's yes, back. yes, you lost it. Back. But that story is reserved for luck. All right, great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save. We're going to do a long rest. And then guess what? Your boy is also going to do a long rest because it's almost midnight and I've been streaming since 7.15. I'm very, I'm an ill man. I'm insane for doing this. Um, but to everyone who's joined tonight, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, Again, I've started uploading the VODs to YouTube. Um... And I appreciate you being here. Thanks to everybody who's been watching them. Um, and thank you so much for just hanging out. This has been lovely. Thank you all for, for all the raids tonight. Um, for anybody who's new, I do stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I would love to see you all again. If this is not your thing, that's okay. I'm sure our paths will cross again somewhere. Christina! Oh, you just got here. I'm sorry. I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. But I hope you had a lovely evening. You should join us for the next stream, stream Christina. We, we had like so much Riz a minute ago. Carlac is like super in love with this. Come, come meet our, come meet our new girlfriend. What's on your mind? Super cool. Loves it very much. All right, y'all. But before I go, as always, I'm going to read out the resubscribers. Um, because that's what I do, and I want to thank people who keep on coming back month after month. Um, again, you never have to do that. Soccer's at 3 a.m. Christina, really? You can't watch in the, you can't watch after the morning sun rises and the vods exist is there soccer vods there must be all right so um thank you so much uh oh and wayward jaybird is correct there is a new episode of sword af on smosh tomorrow there is a new episode of my happy marriage the anime i'm in tomorrow as well um so hope to see y'all again thanks for hanging out um all right so time to read out all the resubscribers um a very warm welcome back and thank you to hannah g for their second month and a tier two i greatly appreciate that extra bit of support Wayward Jaybird for their 35th, Boot Me Up Scotty for their 54th, Jonathan and Bucci for their 15th, uh, Sika for their 49th, Yo Watchy for their 2nd, possibly Katie for their 21st, Bad By Gamer for their 42nd, uh, or 47th rather, excuse me, C Maz for their 27th, Melting Sandwich for their 2nd, Tiny Lil Liza for their 2nd, Luke Ribeiro for their 20th, Ferguson the Cat for their 30th, Olive Irene for their 5th, Namely Next for their 3rd, Danksy Dan for their third, PWBK for their 40th, Angusi, there you for their second, uh, Jacinda for their second, Farkas for their fifth, Midnight Moon for their 22nd, Kayla Macaroni gifting to Persephoroth for their fourth, thank you so much for doing that, thanks for the raid, Persephoroth, um, Melianic uh, for their 21st, SSJ Katie for their ninth, Kayla Macaroni gifting to Danny Phantom for their second, Danny, thank you for stopping by for the first time tonight, appreciate you, um, Kayla, thank you for doing that, and for gifting the Who is Chelsea, another raiding friend, wonderful, um, appreciate that a lot, um, thank you, Kayla. Tiana GACP for their third. Tiana gifting also to Blizz for their second. Thank you for doing that. And then Mr. W for their 32nd. Woo! Y'all, this has been a lovely, lovely, lovely evening. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate you, Oodles. Um, you know, uh, miss me for my third. So Catamantium, sometimes they just don't show up, and I don't know why it is. Um, because I I legit, like, I I I read all of them, and, and you're not on this list, and I'm so sorry. 
And Catamantium, thank you for coming back for your third. Um, Laurel, thank you so much for hanging out as well and doing that parallel play. Um, all right, y'all. So let me go ahead and uh, let's raid. Let's raid as we always do. Just send forward the love. Um, let's drop in this and just say, um, Dam Damien, raid me in. That's stupid and I love it and I'm tired. Um, God, I can't believe it's midnight. I need to have boy dinner. Um, so let's copy and paste this as we send a raid over to my friend Nick, who's playing Dark and Darker. Um, all right, Clever Coop family, as I always say, whether you tip, you subscribe, you throw bits my way, or you just support me by watching with your eyeballs, I so, so, so appreciate you. I love this community, and I could not and would not want to do this without you. Um, thanks to everyone for hanging out so long tonight, and until next time, Clever Coop, that's Thursday in two days, you are dismissed. Bye, everyone.